How are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Heart Troats and Reviews HTR. Uh, we just want to say before we start the channel that uh, viewer discretion is advised. And also, um, please be nice in the chat and uh, we'll go from there. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And um, we're going to chat it out about a very interesting topic, though, tonight. Please give us a like and subscribe, and then we're going to get into the comments in a bit. But Anthony Center and uh, Joey Testa, he's scheduled for release. Center's released. Now, what's up, OG? What's up, man? What's happening? You figured out how to get the overlay off? How you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm you did? Good. No, I'm asking you because it was. All you do is mic. Go to the right side of the screen. Go down, buddy, and then you're all good. I'm just breaking balls, bro. I'm doing good, man. I feel good. How about yourself? Oh, well, no. I was just doing the over showing them like what the show is about. You mean the overlay? Yeah. No, you did good, man. I'm just breaking balls, bro. Come on. You're doing good. Um, Seriously, straight up. I like it. I like the way you did that, man. Good so, stuff. going back to it, actually. So, are they rehabilitated? Obviously, obviously released. Now, let's just go back to who these people are so everyone is aware i'm sure everyone knows who they are but if you ever heard of a place called the gemini lounge roy de mayo um the de mayo crew i mean anyone who uh knows true crime mafia history i mean you you must have been sleeping under a cave if you never heard of these guys they called them the gemini twins but from something i heard though mike think it wasn't like oh we're the gemini twins the media always does that stuff Right. And, um, you know, uh, I saw Pete on um, NYC Crime Spot, too, the other day. And he was also was part good. of the crew. And um, so we got Anthony Center there with Carmine Persico and a Lucchese. Uh, got, uh, I forget his name, but there's Center there. Mike, I got to find a much up current one, man, that I can't on both of them. I can't. That's them back in the day on the streets. You talking about current pictures? Yeah. Is that what you said? There's a pretty there's some pretty good ones of Joey. And the ones of Anthony, I don't know how current they are. I mean, he's definitely older in the pictures, you know. But there's some there's some good ones of of uh Joey with gray hair, you know, now and everything. And they yeah, seem I mean, to be they're up there. there. How old are they now? Um I sent you both of their Bureau of Prison papers. Oh, you know, I'm going to look though, right man. now. Man. I, I should have put that up. On, I'm going to look right now. Man. What's while that? We're talking. I'm going to look while we're talking about it. So uh, Testa is 69 and Center is 68. Yeah. So, I mean, so, pushing I mean, these guys are right. Um, Hit that mute button quicker because I'm going to put that up. Yeah. As soon as it Thank pops. you, Paul. So... You know, it's it's interesting uh, 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 when they started talking about releasing them, and it was getting close for for uh, when they were talking about Testa getting released. You know, at first, it, you know, Anthony was getting released, and then they started talking about Joey. I asked Rob about it, right? And uh, Rob said, "Man, that that uh, he was he was happy for for uh, Joey." And that uh, he really believed that Joey was a rehabilitated guy, you know, but just based on what he was doing in prison. You know okay, what I'm saying? Like, now it, it goes to, yeah, but it goes to this question too, which I always think. Should anyone then who does like, you know, crazy acts and crazy murders and stuff like that, if they're rehabilitated, then should they definitely go back out? That that man, that's a very good question. I I'm I just sent you over another one too that's interesting, man. In your text, this is Anthony Center's register number zero seven five 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 slash zero five four eight sixty eight. Race white male. Release date was on J June twenty second, twenty twenty four. Will be release date located right. at RRM New York. Now he's already in a halfway house, isn't he? So the RRM. New York is for the uh, halfway houses. That's what it basically it. means. You've been released to, you know, that type of custody. So he has to stay there for a certain amount of time. 
Okay, and then we got Joey here. Joseph Carmine Testa, registered number 07556S0546, 69 years old, race white male. He's actually released data earlier, April. Right, and they can release him at any time. Now, FCI Terminal Island. Now, is he, he's he's got to go to his. He's going to a halfway house, right? Yes, yes, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see where they send him. You know what I mean? Uh, that that's going to be an interesting one. I'm I, I'm gonna. I don't want to say much about that. I guess, but that that'll be pretty interesting. Look at the one I just sent you. That's pretty nuts. That's uh. You want to wait and talk about that or not? It kind of goes with this because of the halfway house. Uh, what do you call it? Um, well, I was going to bring up something with this, with this, but uh, if you want to talk about him, go ahead. Only, only thing I was going to say is that according to that and the way it looks, John Gotti's grandson, the one that went to jail on the Vinny Asaro case for yeah. burning that car and stuff, he's in the same halfway house as Testa, I believe. That's wild, man. Okay. That's, that's the way they have it in the Bureau of Prisons. Why man. am I thinking Center then is inside the uh, halfway house? So Testa's already out. In Not Testa. House. I, if I mix it up, straighten me up, bro. Center. Center's, okay. in, Center's in the halfway house. Gotti's grandson, it looks to be in the same place. In the same halfway house. That's yeah. There's a more current one, I guess. Yeah. There's Anthony there. That's when they were uh, both handcuffed together. Um, that's wild. Yeah. Locking out. I believe that's both of them. The guy in the front looks like Phil Lee and Eddie a little bit, but that's Philly. Oh, here. If you want to look at it again, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He really does. It looks, it looks different for Crazy sure. Phil. Crazy Phil. Crazy uh, Phil. Yep. And that's, uh, that's Joey and um, Roy. And then, you know, you got your crew right here. There's, there was more members, but, you know, Chris. Joseph Testa, Anthony Center, Henry Borelli, Dom Mantiglio, Anthony Gugi Gaggi, Nino, Joseph Guglielmi, the Dracula, Roy DeMeo, the Butchar. Now, listen, for people, though, who may have just came on to learn about this, I just am going to say some basic stuff. Uh, the DeMeo crew was a vicious crew in the 70s and early 80s. I believe it was mainly those 70s, late 70s, I believe, uh, until the early 80s with dates i might mix up but the bottom line is they had to, they had a method where first off they were killing for paul castellano yeah they were doing work for paul but then they were doing their own work and then they were just killing people non-stop and then they were cash or higher but they really started off as stealing cars and uh you know they had uh freddie uh, let me put him back up. This Freddie, I don't even think. See, don't know, this. I should have put a different one up. They don't. I mean, they don't even have Freddie to moan up, but uh, or Pete. But um, so you know, there's a lounge called the Gemini Lounge, and these guys, you know, here's how they do their hits called the Gemini Method. You walk through the apartment door. There's an apartment in the back. They walk in, boom, get shot in the back of the head. Roy wraps a towel around the head, stops for bleeding. Chris comes out in his underwear, stabs the heart. So I guess when you stop the heart from pumping, it stops the blood. And then they uh, get him in the bathtub. They hang him upside down. And then they um, they bleed them for about 45 minutes. They go in the kitchen. They have some pizza while they're waiting for him to go down. <laughs> there's, there's a clip of Dominic Montiglio, Sandy. He comes into Roy's um it was Dracula's apartment. Think about this too. Dracula bathed in that tub all the time. But um, <laughs> yeah, how wild is that? Perfect name for him, huh? Dracula. Right. But, but right. um, and then also for the people who might not know, like you know, it says up to two hundred. But I mean, these people definitely killed a hundred people at least all together. There was over, I think it was one hundred and twenty some DNAs inside the pipes, and um, it it was bad, real bad, and they were just uh out of control to the and it won't really screwed them up i'm just trying to go quick like like, like for example their first beggar was andre katz what they did wrong with him though was i believe they just threw all of his parts in one dumpster instead of separating them but then eventually they that's what they would do and it would get taken to the fountain avenue dump and then forget about it you're never finding the body um once it's there um so uh that's the method they use to kill they chop up the bodies and uh no murder no um 
I'm sorry, no body, no murder. You know, like the Westies were known for that as well. So, and uh, Tommy Karate, I believe, did it a couple times. But it's, um, they were just very vicious. I always say they're the horror movie of the mafia. You know, like they're the horror movie of the mafia. And uh, according to Dominic Mattiglio too, real quick, he would say like, you could tell when they didn't kill for a while. Um, because they'd be in the lounge and they'd be like down, but after those, they, after they just got done doing some work, they'd be like, "Oh, like, hey, what's up?" Playing pool, fired up, and that tells me that that's when they're looking to kill. A lot of mobsters aren't looking to kill. I bet you there was a lot of mobsters who got sent for and said, "We would need you to take out this person." And I bet you some of them definitely were like, "Oh man, I don't want to do that." You know, absolutely, right. that happened. Of course, yeah. Especially if it's someone they know, because because yeah. like everybody says, the person that's coming to get you is the person who knows you, your best friend. So of course there was a bunch of cats that didn't want to put in work or do that, especially if it's someone they know. So yeah, jeez, exactly. So I, uh, where, where was I going though with the mic? What was I saying? Just saying how much they enjoyed it. Like those guys yeah, enjoyed yeah, doing yeah. that. So they were hungry. Is that people, like, man. you know, if that fires you up, does that make you serious? Like, you know, a lot of people always say, does that make you serial killers? Or blood hungry? I don't whatever. think that they were. I think Roy kind of was, and they just wanted to do whatever Roy was. And you got to remember, the mob was big time then. But it takes a special, it's a certain someone. And when I say special, I don't mean like special, like in a good way, to be able to do that. For the Westies, Mickey Featherstone was by far easily the most deranged unbelievably out of his mind feared man in hell's kitchen but when they went to cut the bodies he had to leave he couldn't even fucking take it so i mean i always thought like you know doing that man like you know like it and it's just eating pizza the joke was dominic montiglio comes up to the house and they're all eating pizza or spaghetti or whatever you know and uh he was walking around a table Roy gives him an envelope because he'd pick up for Nino. He was the middleman for Nino because Nino didn't want to always be be out and flashy. So uh, he, he looks he looks over because in the kitchen, like you know, there's another door. It's the bathroom. He looks, he sees two bodies hanging upside down. He goes over to Roy. He goes, Roy, what the fuck is that? Roy goes, Oh, don't worry, they're not staying for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That just gives you their sense of um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, their sense of uh, levity or whatever. That, I mean, of just how normal know. that was to them. You know that that was it was. You could make a joke with it. You're talking about bodies hanging, man. Most people. Do you know what level of of uh, used to that you got to be to be able to eat around that and have two bodies hanging there making jokes and stuff i mean shit. but let me tell you uh, to that i think pete pete the pick made good points on stuff like that is those guys you say yeah 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 on that but this is this is what he said on our show even when he came on and talked with us that time he said yeah. that they were kind of led by you know who was leading them well he wouldn't mention names but we all know it's Roy, you know? So all those guys basically looked up to this dude who was, you know, a big time guy and they were going to do whatever he wanted them to do whenever they wanted. You know what I'm saying? They were young cats, you know? So yeah, you're around this guy and he's like, Hey man, we're going to take out these people. We're taking out these. Well, that's what you're going to do if you want to move in that world, you know? And so that's what they did. And it's crazy, man. It's it really is. It's damn that amount of people, that crew like that, and uh, shit. How many of how many people are even left from that besides them? There's Pete. There's both of them. There's is yeah, there anyone else? Like, now Dracula, though nobody knows about. He nobody went knows. on. Right. Everyone says that Albert De Mayo dropped them off at an airport, and that was it. I. But he lived, though, after Roy. I was surprised because usually with relatives and stuff, like, you know, the mob is probably like, you know, take him out, too. Why not? But according right. to Albert DeMeo, he took him to the airport. And um, I just want to. Uh, oh, no, that's just sorry. That's not the actual video from NYC Christ, but that's just a clip 
Um, did, Mike, did they did they change your YouTube too? Like you know, like everything's different now. You mean when you click on it? Like yeah, when you've got to try to find certain buttons yeah. and all this. You know what? That well, shit. I don't know, man. It is funny on certain stuff, like on certain clips where you can't, where it makes it hard to click like and all that. Yeah. On certain ones, yeah, man. That that's annoying as hell, man. I've noticed that. Okay, but we got. Uh, Did you find that, that one? Was a long one too, though. But that, yeah, I thought What's it was up, so Brett? great. When did he do it? When did who do it? When was the interview? Remember you said that was you that was run. yeah yeah yeah. Go to go to go to uh, Crime I'm, Spots I'm page. I'm on, and then it'll say. If you want me to look at it right now, I can tell you immediately, real fast. It's, it's like so one weird, of the, man. When, when you hit live on Crime Spots too. page. It mm -hmm. takes me to like news watch with like it's fucking so weird. Here, I'll show you. Okay, go to videos. It's the last, I think it's the last video that's posted. The last video that's posted. All right, again, folks, what we're going to be sharing is from NYC Crime Spot, who's with us right now and is giving us permission. Okay, so it's the one, one that says Pete the Pick, LaFrosia, uh, LaFrosia, the release of Joey. It's not going to be one of those. Keep scrolling and see if it goes to videos. See, because you're on a different. Is that it right there? Yeah, that's it. No. Bottom left. No, that's 11 minutes, 26 seconds. That's just a clip. That's it. That's the one. Well, why is it 11 minutes only? 26 because seconds. That's how you long told... the video is that the guy. That, yeah, but you uh, told Brent me to go made. to two hours and 40 minutes. No, I said, oh, man, two minutes and 46 seconds, bro. My bad. Oh, all right. So is that where you want me to go now? Please, I believe that's it. In like, the phone, I'll show you the text. On. That's... Yeah, it was it was my bad, probably, bro. Okay, we'll just start it from here or whatever. I was up when I was here, pulled over, he came down and say hello. This is NYC. A little bit before that. A little bit before yeah, that. You know, I'm sorry. You, you you know, so you were in Terre Haute. You know, you were, you said... Real quick, this video is NYC Crime Spot and Pete the Prick here. Pick, Pete the Prick. The pick. Nick, sorry. That was accidental. Shh. Pete the Pick here uh, was a member of uh, the DeMeo crew, and here he is talking to Brett. Mike, you say the name anymore. So, Pete, since the last time we spoke, um, let's see. Joseph Carmine Testa, age 69 years old, release date April 30th, 2024. Currently located at FCI Terminal island so we first spoke pete uh episode one i believe we covered we you had the news that anthony was getting out now just a short time later joseph testa is getting out one half of the gemini twins of what what people call the gemini twins and i'm going to ask you about that also pete um would you like to make a comment on that pete yes i would i i feel that joey is a great guy you know what i mean he really is uh I've never seen him do anything bad, but that doesn't mean, you know, this world that didn't happen. But I know Joey, Joey's the type of guy who he, he deserves to come home. He's got a family, and I'm so blessed that he is. I'm sure he loves his family. Can't wait to get there. And I'm almost positive in my heart that he will do nothing wrong again, if, or even be accused of anything wrong, which he's been accused many times, and they were wrong. They were wrong when they accused him. I hope they just leave him alone and let him live his life. Joey, I haven't seen you in forever. The last time I see you was in Terra Hub when I was in Holdover. He came down there. and said hello. God bless you, Joe. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're back with your family. I haven't seen you in forever. The last time I see you I was in Terra Hub when I was in Holdover. He came down and said hello. God bless you, Joe. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're home. I'm glad you're back with your family. And so you were in Terra Hot. You were you said you were in hold. You were in hold. Yeah, Mike. Okay. The only reason I want you to stop it here. This is the part that I thought was really cool, man. Because okay, he hadn't up right here. Yeah, and that was good. I'm glad you played that whole thing. But I'm glad though we pause it too because they say like every minute or so you gotta so this is NYC it, yeah. Crime Spot channel. And um the owner of the channel, a CEO, is in the chat. And um, we could watch Davis this, he said. We have permission. So, 
and like no, see honestly, fly. and guys this, subscribe to his channel. It's probably his best, links in his mafia it, channel on. Yeah, it's awesome. His his link, uh, Ro dropped his link too, so his links dropped. Thank um, you, Ro. Hope this, all is this, well. I just watched this one last night. This is the what's so cool to me about this one is he's talking about the last time that he saw Joey, which is like in my mind, just like blowing my mind how many years passed, you know, and he actually saw him when he was at Terra Hut. And we've heard Rob talk about being there and actually I, I'm trying to think if he was with Joey there maybe, but anyway, it's a trip, man. This many years later, man, him talking about running into him. Now the guy's just about to be released. Go ahead, man. That just, it just blows my mind. I think it's a coolest. Well, that's like uh, video. That would that be like th 30 years almost? I mean, damn, it depends on when he saw, what year he saw him there. I'm guessing he saw him there in the eighties yeah, or, or something, maybe shit. It's some right. time. Here we go. Right now, this is NYC Crime Spot. Subscribe to the channel. Yeah, I was being transferred, you know, from, so I got to, uh, where was it? I forgot what I was saying. Oh, Blunstown. No, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, Blunstown? I forgot which one I was sending it to. But anyhow, like the judge told us, he sentenced us all to different prisons. Right? right. They said, you'll never see each other again. So, you know, every time you get to a prison, you know, you usually lay overnight for two days, maybe before you get on a bus and continue on, you know. And uh, I'm laying in my cell down there, you know, with nothing. And I hear his voice at the end of the tower. And he's yelling. Like, and I'm saying, what the fuck? I says, it sounds familiar. It, he's, he tells uh, the turkey, open a gate. And the guy opens a gate. Who comes walking down the corridor? Nothing but Joey. <laughs> it was really? like fucking, it was really, really a great feeling, you know. You know, brought me some uh, commissary, you know. What and year that was, was that, Pete? Was that after you were sentenced? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, but like right after or years later? No, yeah, years after because he was. He, I got sentenced in eighty. I think it was eighty-seven. Right. He didn't get sentenced till after ninety-two. So yeah, was, eighty-nine. I think that he got sentenced. Eighty-nine. Yeah, that's when it ended. Yeah, probably. Something like that. Yeah, no, it's been a, been a minute then since I've seen him. You know, <laughs> I was strutting down there like a, like a peacock. You know? <laughs> yeah, wow. I said, holy shit, man. So it had been years since you saw him and, you, and oh, yeah. you happened to run into him. Yeah. Wow. Interesting, Pete. Did you guys get to talking at all or? Yeah, a little bit. You know, how you doing? Is there anything I can help you with while you're here? Hold over. I said, just seeing you, Joey, is enough. You know what I mean? You know, it's just seeing that these guys are okay makes me feel wonderful. You know, you got to remember, we, whatever they say we were as a crew, I still loved each other as friends. You know, I mean, people that we socialize together. Whatever happened on that side of the fence was one thing. On this side, we were like, you know, friends. We laughed, we get around, barbecues, you know, things like that. So it was great to see you. Right. Wow. This is NYC yeah, that's crime that's surreal, spot. man. To run into you to to one of your Such friends from the cool street video, like that. That's yeah. the amazing, one of the coolest yeah, things I've seen. So I want to ask you something else, Pete. So I was going back into and I was looking at that was to me that was that was that spot right there where he was talking about that. Man, the judge told him they'd never see each other again. Um running into him like that while they're behind bars and stuff, dude. That was that was a well, I remember when he was on our show, though, he was saying, though, that, and Brett was nice enough, though, to get him, though, to come on and talk. Right. When he said something like, Joey was the type of guy who always, like, had your back, you know, fist fight and this and that. Like, he was talking about just very stand-up. And you got to remember, though, these guys are friends. And I want to say this. This is, does he deserve to get, hey, the judge gave him that sentence. That's what he did. You know what I mean? But my thing is, uh, I actually turned it off because I thought you were gonna be like Jesus. Why don't you just keep playing my whole show? <laughs> but um, I'll play. I'll play the rest of it in a second, though. Yeah, it's we'll good. get to the comments in a second. So, but what I'm um ah was it Mike? Was I going? Where was I still saying this for real? Um, about uh the judge about the judge telling them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so when he came on the show and talked with us. We're not here trying to be like. Don't let them out because they're going to be animals. I truly believe both of them at their age, they're not going to be doing shit. No, 
No, they're not. Going the to worst them. will be taking a Snickers bar out of a fucking Turkey Hill Mini Mart or something. You know what I mean? And like, that ain't gonna not. happen, man. Of course. No, I know that. I said the worst. I know. You know what I, I know. Mean? I know. But you know, so this is about do they deserve it? That's what I was gonna say. That's what people are gonna think. It's not. It, there's gonna be. It's. It's. Is it? I guess right. Is it the right thing to do? Is it, after someone's after someone's committed certain amount of crimes, including murders, do they deserve a chance of freedom again? You know, what, you know, what's the parameter for that? What's, you know, where, where do you, where's the line? Do we say, okay, only if they killed this many people or only, you know what I mean? The dudes ain't going to get out and kill people. It just, the chances that happen is zero. I just don't think it's going to. Could yeah, they yeah, 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 yeah. You know. But well, what I what I'm gonna yeah exactly yeah so as far as that that you you hit it right on the head with that question it's not whether they will do anything it's what's the punishment where does it lie you know is where does it end I guess um that's that's what it is. It's not exactly where does it end? Where does it, you know, and that's for a judge though to decide and the judge did decide that. Right. Just saying with the brutality and uh, the viciousness. And I mean, both of them have at least over 10 bodies, you know, that's, uh, it's crazy. You know, that's why we're mm -hmm. talking about this right now, but, and not to mention too, 69 sunny franchise he, he comes out he's a hundred you know what i mean like he's you know what i think that guy he because he i think he said something like i'm gonna fucking stay alive to piss off the government or whatever it's at and he actually got out of there and i like i'm just saying oh that's talk about being like what you are i mean he was what what he was but uh these guys though 69 years old i'm saying in these days it's not too old they can still have a nice you know what I mean? 15 years, yeah. 10 years outside with it, whatnot, though. So, um, yep. It's just, though, do they know how to live? That's the thing. Meaning, do they know how to live normally? Do they know how to do the normal, like, hey, hey get social security, go, go get your job, go get your, you know, you got to work on a 401k, you got to, you know, all that type of stuff, like, you know, health and benefits. Do they know how to do that stuff? That's, you know what? Nowadays, I think, especially with those guys, they probably taken every, you know, next step program they could take. And in fact, Rob said that before the test had taken every course they had, they have a lot of things you could take, right? Especially if you want to get, okay. Like Scott said, he took every course he could take that is like a step for wanting to get out. And a lot of those courses have stuff like, how do I make it on the outside? How do I do this? You'd be surprised. Like, the preparation on guys who really want to get out do to make that step to, to learn when I get out, I'm not just some goofball. Like you would think, okay, Oh man, this guy's been away for 50 years. He probably is not going to know how to use a cell phone. Well, guess what? <laughs> they got cell phones all over the place. And not only that, now, as we could see with uh, Rob, they got tablets, man. Those dudes are walking around with tablets. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, so it's not like they're completely technically, you know, unable or don't. No, have no, no, uh, no. You know what, though? It's the same thing like when you're a drug addict. If you go through the system of like, if you stay, if you stay in the rehab, they'll put you in a sober home. You stay in the sober home, you get a job, and then you just flourish though from there. So right. there are opportunities, though, that they yes. give you. But it's almost like, you know, like the end, though, when you see, uh, what's his name? Boots, no, no, Boots, I've said, I said Boots was here, um, you know, in uh, Shawshank Redemption, Brooks, yeah, Boots, yeah. Uh, Brooks was here because he just didn't know how to live, you know, right, and, right. Um, my and there are guys too, like that, well, yeah. yeah, my buddy who did like 15 years when he got out, like he would still have to beat people up in the bathroom, he was very, very institutionalized, though. <laughs> in bathroom. yeah, no, I'm man, listen, it's, it's, it, no matter how much you prepare yourself, Scott's biggest thing that he said was the hardest thing is when he went to Walmart, man. When he went to Walmart, he said he couldn't 
get over the amount of lights, the people, how people just walk real fast and bump people. You know, you don't do that shit in prison, man. No, you, you got to be polite. You got to be right. polite. People aren't polite here, you know, in, in the free world. That's what's and it, that's what I think a lot of guys have to adjust to, man. But. Yeah, I mean, you got to realize, man. Like people just say the number thirty years, but third, like, look at Mitch, thirty-seven years. That's in. Just I enough. mean, look at this. Mitch is doing more time, did more time than Testa and Center. That is insane. That's especially, nuts, man. Especially if you know Mitch's crime and how it all right. went down, and how old he was, and he could and have how been. Old a, he was. He could have been a juvenile. Could have been oh, a juvenile. Dude, that's, case. that's blowing my mind Shh. right now. Isn't that something, man? He did more time than two two mob. Uh, I gotta tell. I gotta tell him that next time I talk to him. That's, that's insane. Yeah, yeah, guys. This guy, you know, it was a murder and all. And I think, well, Mike, what did he get hit with? Who's that? Uh, he what? had a chance to go to juvenile, but yeah, he something. Yeah, and he's like, fuck that. Yeah, he goes, no, I'm. He was a hard he was criminal. With the older, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was hanging with the older guys, and they offered him. His lawyer was trying to get him a deal to go to juvenile. He's like, "No, nah, man, I'm send me over to the county." <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. So, he wanted though to be a part of that, like you know, but I mean, ended up though getting thirty seven years, and he admitted, like you know, he stomped on the guy's back. There's a bunch of them who jumped the guy who died, right. but still though, he had an opportunity where he could have only done though a little bit, like through juvie, and. Right. Uh, but he chose not to. Then he ends up doing 37 years. This is the guy who put the the tattoo on. Uh, he's not all like, ooh, on white. Charles Manson. Right. Yeah, and Charles Manson, though, because Charlie would uh, smoke weed, and Charlie gave him a little <laughs> bit of weed. And uh, he was like, all right, you know what I mean? And he goes, put a bandana on and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Remember, he's like, squat on down. He's like, squat on down, Charlie. And he starts <laughs> shaking his forehead up. But, oh, guys, the name of the channel is... Um, uh, hard intentions. Mitch Smiley, great guy. Did thirty seven. Uh, kept his mouth shut. And we awesome have some videos. Guy, we have some videos with him bitching about uh, Michael Thompson and other stuff because yeah. they didn't stay with it. And Mitch, I mean, Mitch is as real as they come, man. When it comes to that, you know. Hell yeah, and he's even a good dude. Like Michael Thompson even said though when he was telling that bald head dude, um, I've always forget his name from London. Atwood, is that him? or is it uh, him? Yeah, Atwood. He told him um, at the end, he's like laughing about it again. Like, you know, he had to say what he had to say to throw it off. But then he said, oh, but he is a biker. He is a very serious, like, individual. Like, yeah. you know, like he, you know, Mitch right. even said that about him. Mitch said, though, he was more Mitch like, a, like a very violent he guy. Stab because you in the back kind of guy is what he said. Stab you in the back, though, type, though. Instead, But of, he like, said, he out. said he was a violent dude. I mean, just because he was a piece of trash to him and he had, you know, uh, turned and did all that. He still, that doesn't take it. And you know what? We all, me and you, I think always say that about guys that everybody says stuff about Sammy or says stuff about these guys and whoever, that doesn't mean they're not dangerous no more, man. That doesn't oh, yeah. take away yeah, what yeah, they yeah. did. I know, it's funny. You may you not like what they did, but they're still can be serious dudes, you know? So, Listen, it's so hysterical, man, because I see so many people writing like, you know, rat, 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 rat. But then, no, like when I, uh, if I'm in a town, no, like, you know, and like that person's around and like everyone knows treats them like a king and stuff and they don't say shit. Mm -hmm. But now that everyone's not accountable, Mike, we live in a time where everyone's not accountable, though, for like when we grew up, Mike, like we had to think about what we were going to say as if we said something, we're getting smacked in the mouth. Um. That's gone yeah. now. That's if gone. somebody said your mom, somebody was right. getting smashed. Period. Oh, about today, about the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like you know, just saying. You got that smashed. Mean, you know, that we're doing. We got the troll. That just means we're doing good. Leave it up. I told him, hey, here's my email. Get in touch with me, and um, that's that. I even gave my personal one. But uh, <laughs> but with that though said though. Um, yeah, let's just go listen out to the rest let's of could it. you see this right up? Is this up I on can. the screen? Yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Okay, right here. This is NYC Crime Spot talking to Pete the Pick. FBI files and records and stuff like that. And I found no reference to the term Gemini twins at all from that time period. 
and then I started looking at right murder machine comes out. And then I started seeing some of the articles in the nineties of that term Gemini twins. Can you explain to me where that comes from Pete? Well, you know, first of all, you got the Gemini bar. Okay. I believe that was part of it, but right. they, they were like stuck together like at the hip. You know what I mean? Wherever they went, they usually went together. They went out together went for drinks together. Whatever they did, they did together basically. You know what I mean? It was, very, very close. They grew up very, very close. So when they got that, they just said, wow, you know, it's like a logo. It's twins. Just like with John Gotti or Teflon Dom. You know, right. you know, I guess what I'm saying, Pete, is is that something that was made up on the street or is that something that like Jerry Capisi made up or something like that? Was that yeah. something you would have heard? Like, oh, yeah. like there's Joey and Anthony, the Gemini twins. Is that what people are saying on the no. streets of Canarsie? No, that all came about after the articles and stuff. It was not like they were in the street. And they said, it is Anthony Joe. It is Gemini Twins. Right, yeah. right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they were individuals. Trust I me. just want to, all right. I just want to clear that up because I'm sure people have wondered about that. So that's just, uh, that's like, like you say, Teflon Don. That's just a creation from the press. Correct. From Jerry Capisi or whoever these people are. It's an eye catcher. You know what I mean? You say, wow, okay. who's it? Who you know what I mean? Interesting. Okay. Well, that's good to know. So you were in prison at NYC the time, crime spot is the but channel. Have you ever heard that around 1992, uh, the DeMeo crew appeared on the program, a current affair. Did you ever hear about that? I heard about it. Yes. I never seen it though. I didn't have the opportunity. Do you really want to see it? it? Uh, someday. Yeah, you want to show it to me someday? I'd be more glad to look at it. You um, want to see it right now? or You want to show it to me? I just, I just seen a movie the other day. That somebody told me about it was it was crazy. It was all about the Gemini. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even remember the name of the movie. Uh, like Harvey had all of them, you know, Roy. Yeah. So, holy shit! I never but seen uh, we'll talk about that movie uh, on the phone someday, Pete. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's crazy. It's one of those. It's one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Came out of nowhere. But uh, yeah. Right. Right. So, would you? Do you want to see this? You want to show it to me? Yeah, I you know. do. I do. I would have show it to you. I edited it a little bit together, and I would like you to watch it. So I'm going to put it on the screen yeah. now. I'm going to put it on the screen now. Okay. Here right. we go. Land slaughterhouse. Not one walked out. But if John Gotti is a good man, know, then the these guys well. were definitely bad. These were the four most ruthless guys in the crew, and uh, Chris, um, Chris used to kill in his underwear. Right. He was the one who would jump out in his underwear and mm -hmm. stab him in the heart. Didn't want to get his clothes dirty. Jerry Capisi and his partner, Gene Mustaine, have chronicled Gotti's life in the Gambino family. Now they're writing a book about the Roy DeMeo crew, a Gambino gang that operated behind this Brooklyn bar until 1983, a gang that scared even John Gotti. Over a 10-year period, officials estimate the gang killed up to 200 people. Their meeting place was known as the Horror Hotel. Yeah. This is the you know, Horror Hotel. This was the place where the DeMeo crew uh, chopped up the bodies of their murder victims and packaged them and shipped them off to the dump. They disposed of a couple of dozen bodies here. You know, the Horror Hotel? The Horror Hotel, right. Check this in. Never get out. That's right. This yeah. woman still goes to the bar and remembers sure. the crew. Does this woman look familiar to you, Pete? I'm trying to think. I mean, she had to be. She had to be much younger. I don't know. I'll I don't even know if you. I knew, I, I, knew, I knew Linda that was a the waitress by the bar. I knew a few of them. But, uh, okay. There's another woman that comes up too. So, we'll, so let's see. It's almost done. We'll Came see. in. I saw them, and out of respect, you say hello. Doesn't mean you're gonna sit down and get into a conversation and say, "Okay, who'd you kill next door?" People came in. They were shot in the head. Yeah, yeah. He and then they were stabbed in the chest. And then dragged into the shower. All the blood was drained. And then they had a pool liner on my on my living room floor. And their bodies were cut up and then disposed of. Most of the DeMeo crew is now dead or in jail. That's a woman. I think her name is Debbie Doyle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know Debbie? I don't know her I don't know her. Yeah. You know of her? Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, the horror hotel is now just an apartment where Debbie Doyle lives. It's just like living anywhere else. It just bothered me the first night when I read about it in the paper. What bothered you? all the blood that went down the drain from the bodies you know i kind of felt eerie when i took a shower but other words than that it really didn't bother me because i feel when people are dead you're dead you nice place them. to live now yes yeah, it's, it's the rent is cheap you can't beat it in time they, they they became sort of the mafia's execution squad this was methodical 
murder, dismemberment. The channel just is like NYC. You and I go to work. These guys, we go to work and chop bodies up. I mean, I can't conceive of it. I can't conceive of someone doing this so cold-bloodedly, so methodically, and so calculatingly, and not having nightmares and not wanting to run away from it. To hang out with Roy and Joey and Anthony, Henry, Paulie Pinto, Chris, Pedro. These were not like the norm in the life. In the life. Yeah. What do you think about that when you watch that, Pete? It's what? What do you Say think it. about that when you watch that? Well, first of all, I shouldn't have bothered that lady because she was upstairs. All the blood was downstairs. She never had to, had to go through her drain. <laughs> no, I'm going to kid him. But uh, <laughs> no, they told the story where they heard it. I mean, I'm sure none of them seen it. You know, so they're going on what other people say again. And as I said, other people have a, a way of uh, uh, making it more than what it was because, you know, like you, you put a couple of kids on a bench, you wish me the one ear, by the time it gets the other way, you know, Santa Claus was a hooker, you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Do I, do I, would I say that that's all true? I wouldn't say. <laughs> so, you know, okay. okay you wouldn't funny, but, you know, that, just remember this. You read it in the book, you heard it from the government. Now, if I tell you how many times that government should be stopped for perjury on what they did, what they said during my own trial, I can name them. But yet, yeah, you know. Thought she looked like a crack kid. I thought she was all right. Um, <laughs> I liked her attitude. Like, <laughs> That's what she was. <laughs> no, we just watched like, this great video. I, <laughs> Dude, shit. I, we just saw the best. That was one. I, man, I watched that last night. And that was one of the best ones I've seen, man. And this guy goes, Doesn't look like <laughs> it's not even Ruby, you. though, saying that at the end. I, I know, was laughing. I know. <laughs> but I. Uh, Oh, oh, what a world. Yeah. <laughs> what a world. Uh, don't guys don't forget to press the uh, like, share, and subscribe button and a big shout out to NYC Crime Spot. Uh oh, yeah. definitely, definitely, definitely uh subscribe to him besides subscribing to ours because his you guys will love his channel, boots on the ground, and um yeah. great content. Yeah, it's one of the best, yeah. if not the best, mob true crime channel, hands down. Yeah. All right. So that was real cool. I seen that video too a long time ago because I remembered abroad and I right. remember saying that. And I was just like, holy Christ. So that's like yeah. the same thing. Man. Well, I wonder if they, they at least took the, the tub out and changed that that up and stuff because Jeez. uh you I'm guessing imagine, they probably oh, man, did like, that. You're laying there, you know, like a hundred bodies are in there when you're washing up. It's well, just, they had to done that if when they did the DNA stuff and all that, don't you think? They probably pulled all the plumbing and stuff, so it's probably has. You would think it has all new plumbing and stuff. Oh, they definitely right. had to pull the pipes. That's what to I'm check saying. The so DNA. It's probably going to go check the DNA it. and throw the DNA back up in there. Put yeah, it back in there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, well, but probably, she said the pipes. She said that she's probably. Just she's saying like, that though, but right in her in in her mind, probably right, 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 exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's you know what? I wonder if that's the mo most kills like in that building in history. Man, I don't know. Besides, like, how many people did Jeffrey Dahmer get? Man, somebody like Dahmer you know, in his yeah. apartment, I believe he got like, oh, but dude, are you kidding me? That the Mayo crew makes Dahmer look like a fucking no, I know, guy. but I'm just saying, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm talking about an individual, that's one guy though. I know. Shit. True. Think about it. Dahmer, no guy. You know what? I just watched that though, not too long ago. Fucking weird. Yeah, you think? Holy crap! <laughs> oh shit! Hold on. Right, all right here. How many bodies did Dahmer have? <laughs> Seventeen boys and men. Jeez. Seventeen bodies. Wow. Yeah, I mean that's a bro. That's heavy. Yeah, man. but each one of them though probably had like seventeen. That's the thing. If they, you know, uh, I, yeah. Well, here's what, here's what I'm all about. The psychology. I was always about the psychology of the mob. Meaning, like, are right, you living that life? People think who watch the movies, they go out every day and they're killing it. So it's not like that whatsoever. There's boring days. There's days that are just hanging around. 
this and that, you know, like murder, shooting like, darts, you know, practicing, yeah, just hanging out, going like, not sharpening knives, you know, murder, especially in the older days, though, it was taken though very, very, like you know, serious. There really was, and um, you know, the, the whole five families and stuff had to go go over it with this or that. But what these guys were doing was, I mean, someone would fuck up in the bar, and I heard Dracula would fucking call Roy. What are you dying at? All right. So can, will it throw off your thing if I show one thing? Well, you're was, you dying. All right, we're supposed to do the show. Where, sorry, where is it? Bro, this is funny. When you when you ask the phone, it goes, you ask like you're trying to beat his record. I gotta stop looking. I'm taking him off from there. When you what ask you mean, the phone, right? when you ask the phone, how many bodies did Dahmer have? It's Alexa. <laughs> I know, but you asked it. He's saying you asked it like you're trying to beat the record. Like, how many do you have? I'm gonna step it up. Oh, oh, okay. I got it. I got <laughs> it. Funny. No, I'm I sorry. just we need well, you said how many did he have? I know, but it was funny. The comment was funny, man. I'm sorry, it was just made. No, I know Pete's the best right there. <laughs> that was great, man. Up, man. This show is actually brought to you by the Socio Studios. So Hell yeah. that's what's up. You know, so we're hooked up. Subscribe. <laughs> so Shan, I talked to Pete about this, Mike. Subscribe. <laughs> oh fuck! Hold on, now I gotta find my head for face for a second. <laughs> oh. And welcome back to HTUR. Thank you for staying in tune with us. I am your host, Loomis. And to my right is our other host, OG Mike. And uh, we have been talking about the DeMeo crew. And, um, you know, we've been talking about it for about 47 minutes. So we want to see what you guys have to say. Try to stick to the topic for a little while because um, we just, you know, showed all that. And um, But this is the second part of the show, though, where we like to bring the... Uh, the audience in so let's see what we got in the comment section who's here all that good stuff johnny noodles how are you my man i saw that vid before that's a good video you know what there's another one though i'm going to show you as though that's a gem um fish what's up fish how i see christ but you find the page do i gotta read the whole book again okay fish fish what i, I told you though two fish tonight you know you're on supervised um, release. <laughs> Did basically. fish get in trouble, man? What happened? This is on. Listen, just let's just say he's swimming on thin ice. Let's just say Greg goes way off the shelf, nowhere near it, and fish is looking at it. <laughs> Don't get shelved, fish. Don't get, get shelved. I had a couple of girlfriends that looked like her, but that was in the late night. I, I thought she was cool. She was like, I could take her to an Iron Maiden concert. You know what I mean? <laughs> go, see, <laughs> go see Judas Priest. Oh, her, you shit. know, what the fuck, man? You know what I mean? I get down like that yeah. here and there. Yeah. Oh, man. Unbelievable. Hold on. I want to go up to, I starred the comment, what Ghost said. And we got to find and, and, and... We need to also, like you say, stay on it. I want to make sure and get your opinion too. Uh, the same thing of whether they actually deserve it or whether. Oh, no, somebody yeah, no, we're not done. No, yeah, we're a, not done. We're gonna close. I think. Yeah. We, I think we should both like close up our answer. Oh with, yeah, with the audience for yeah. sure, man. For sure. Ghost goes. I think it's ridiculous. Center and Tester are getting out, but people sitting in fucking can for nonviolent cr crimes. Right. Right. That's it. Those dudes are getting out and there's people there's people locked up for weed still, man. I guarantee you that had that had three strike cases because and they just kept going through weed, the door. Yep. And now they're locked up and they got life sentences, you know. Um yeah, it's it, it's nuts, man. That it, that really is. That's nuts, man. That that blows my mind. Guys, who's ever watching, though, and you're not in the chat, come in the chat. We talk to everyone. We have a blast here. Hit that like button. Subscribe, please. That's all we ask for. And uh, thank you very much for being here. It's a good point, Ghost. Absolutely. Hey, just a real quick shout out to the Gunsmoke to Don. Great seeing you there on Gunsmoke. Another great channel. Subscribe yeah, what's up? Crunchy Connection. What's up? Another great channel right there. 
he had a really good one, man. Yesterday I watched with uh, – he was doing a walk through Vegas with Gene Barillo. It was a good one, man. That was really cool. All right, Row Row G goes, when the twins got sentenced, there was a Brooklyn drug dealer, six bodies, and he got seven consecutive life sentences. Justice? Yeah, yeah what's up on that? And, and, and can, I throw right. in just, can I throw in just like a, a – a, 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 this is not coming from me. It's just stuff that I've heard and seen people say. There's people that – that think it's kind of funny that both of those guys are getting out, you know, all of a sudden at the same time. And that they're, you know what I'm saying? I've, from what all they've done, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's people that have insinuated, maybe they talked behind closed doors. Um, the big bus that just went down too, like with the Gambinos, the last one, I right. heard something in the air like that, but don't forget though, that could be one person said this, and then yeah, it gets in our mind. Course. That's what I'm saying. I it ain't in my mind. I don't that. know. But listen, though, you you can never call anybody that until you you legitimately though do see right, paperwork. Right. I'm just you throwing know? it out there that there are yeah. people saying that. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's wild, man. I mean, that's that's wild. Well, there's also people saying that the world's fucking flat. And you know, there what I are mean? people so, saying that, bro. And I'm still oh, not sure. We're gonna lose subscribers on that. <laughs> Somebody left. Oh shit! <laughs> no, uh, it. <laughs> look at uh, Ghost tells like it is a bunch of psycho fucking freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Ghost rules. Bro. Yeah. First off, I want to tell everyone here, though, we have a good audience tonight, and thank you for joining us. Please share this video too, if you do not if mind. But with that said, though. We do not glorify these people whatsoever. We're not like, come on, Anthony, get out. <laughs> come on, no, this is American history, and um, that's what we do. We just, you know, here. We're not on no team this, team that, team whatever, right. weirdo shit. And, uh, <laughs> and, the, and fucking, like, you know, uh, it's almost like my, like divorce court. Like, you know, they are, you're like Ricky Lake or whatever sometimes over here in this genre. Though, man. We just like to fucking keep it positive and fucking uh, just talk about, you know. Current event, man. That's a event. real current event. It's, well, actually, we don't talk about the action, current man. with the mob, only the past. But, you know. No, but saying. I mean, it's current that they're getting released. It's a current event that it's involves the event. mob. Absolutely. Well, yeah, well, I mean, come on. I mean, the, the mob's definitely our, our, our biggest subject, I mean, that we talk about. I I'm think just so. saying, though. Yeah. Um, if you want a better yeah. channel for that, NYC Crime Spot definitely is. They yeah. killed like thirty plus in there. No, I got more than that. Yeah, it's big numbers, man. Those cats more than that. And third, like about to think of that third. Well, he's he's right. You can put a plus mark thirty plus, so it doesn't matter even if it's right. ninety. It's still thirty plus. It's still thirty Mark, plus. Mark how are you, buddy? Good seeing you. Happy you're Mark, here tonight. Mark in the house. Here it is. He asked it like he's looking to beat Dahmer's record. That's the one I couldn't hold it on, man. I just started laughing. I barely saw it, and I just started laughing. Yeah, it's even so I could laugh right then. <laughs> How many? Look at look at Rose. Rose like, Rose like Google speaks gangster. <laughs> <laughs> How many bodies? <laughs> I, I <didn't... laughs> It no, worked. It worked, it worked. It, man. There you go. How many bodies do you have? <laughs> Alexa, how many bodies did uh, uh, Dahmer have? Uh, Dahmer had. It starts talking in AI. My God, my, uh, man. My mark, mark it for a short. There you go. Mark it. <laughs> what, what are we on anyway right now? 54 minutes. Host talks, host talks. It's time for Alexa. the wheel of. Nope. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So you couldn't pay me, bro. Um, that was funny as hell. You couldn't pay me to sleep in that place. Yeah, right. Let alone live it. Read the whole book, fish. It's. Be good for you. Is that what they talk about? Murder machine? That that's what I'm Listen, wondering. Yeah. And what Brett asked, Pete, I'm telling you, the Westies got their name. The Westies, the Winter Hill gang, they got their name, the Winter Hill. They they never were like, hey guys, we're the, the this gang. The you know what I mean? So the Gemini twins, 
They weren't like, we're the Gemini twins. It's all media. Media puts that name on them, and then that's what the public sees them as. Or after the media puts the name on them, then they start using it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. But I just say, Mike. You said that the media put the name on them, bro. We just we just watched the whole video on that. Bro. What the hell? Are you joking? I know. I'm just saying, though, that most of those names and gang names you hear about, they can all come from media. Most of them, right? Right. That's right. And that, but you know what? That's why that was such a good video. I'm What's glad up, Brett Rocco. Said, I, I'm I'm glad that Brett said to keep playing it, man, because it 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 had it came from a guy who was around them. How how often is it that we actually get to hear it from a guy who was actually there to say, hey, that's not what everybody called them. Everybody at the, at the Gemini Lounge and Roy and everybody didn't go, hey, here comes the Gemini twins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a good point. But I'm, Rocco, though, even made a fantastic point as well because there was something different with the lie. Remember, I forget what it's called. Right, they got right. The, they got sentenced before 88. wasn't it 87 right. when the law was different where – any one sentence to life federally could be eligible for parole. Oh, okay. Now, but here, then let's talk about that. They're eligible now for parole. That doesn't mean you're getting out. Right. Right. So to actually right. get released, that's what we're, that, see, that's what I love. How the people, like, they bring us now to this part. How did the parole board, after looking after their pass, pass, <laughs> say, yeah. Let him out. Well, same year, both of them. Right, and so that that would be based on how much they believe those guys actually rehab themselves, and that goes back to what I'm saying that Rob said that Joey did everything. He he. Here's what he said. You remember he, said he was a kiss ass almost. Right, that he was like part. He identified as part of the staff. Remember he said that. He goes, he would, he would, he identified as part of the staff. And so a lot of convicts don't like that and don't, don't think that that's, you know, a good trait to have, but it speaks to the fact of what he was saying that, that he wasn't in there trying to, to get high. He wasn't in there trying to do a bunch of illegal shit. He was trying to just do his time okay, and be sure. a lot of other people that are like that too, though. And they didn't don't fucking slice up to over 50 right. bodies going about. Listen, them. man, I agree. It, it, and so that's where it goes back to both they, of them too, which is odd, which is kind of odd though, because other people right. out there are stuck in there for like nonviolent, like you're saying, but both of them. Right, right, right. Here's it's a good, like let me pull this up real fast. Yeah. There's a good point. Really good the point. New staff's name and their family names. Right. So, I mean, yeah. he was that, you know, like in tune to that, to that part. And so it's like, uh, that it, it, it just, he wasn't trying to get in trouble. I and back to what you were just saying, the point. So it then it goes down to are you trying to rehab these guys? Or are you trying to punish them? Punish them. What is the what is the goal? Because I agree, some dudes need to be punished as far as like and shouldn't get let let out. You know, there are people like that that don't ever need to get out. Period. You know, there Not are people. No, like I hear that. you though. Now, Joe Town Jack says, Hell, Don, I'm gonna uh, throw a rebuttal on this. Hey, Dahmer didn't have as many as the bull 19. Yeah, but what's different though, it's like Sammy wasn't bringing people into a room and just, you know, poisoning them and drilling their head and trying to make them into perfect zombies for him and this and that. And also, he had, he was, he, he didn't kill 19 people. He was involved with 19 murders and he even says that all the time. So I just think there is a difference there. Um, way big. I mean, Dahmer's was all sexual and, you know, obviously, but, uh, that's why it's hard. You don't compare, but like people here, like mob, like murder was business in the mob. You knew what you were getting signed. You know what you were getting signed up for. It's all about making money. And if you're doing something that could fucking ruin that in any shape, way, any way, shape or form, you go and you understand yeah. that. So, um, yeah. He probably had them all. Yeah, he's in, wait. It's in the paperwork. They took drain pipes. Yeah, they took the pipes out. Right, right, right. They had to have. You know what, I man? They had to fucking lay them out too and do all the DNA. Yeah, they have to see what they could find. See if there's somebody they didn't 
you know, figure or could, whatever. You know, could you imagine, like, if you lost, like, a family member for a while, and then you found out you that, that DNA, though, was in the pipes, like, and you just right. know how they were. You know what, though? The one thing is, even though they cut the bodies, though, they don't torture you. The one thing is they don't torture you. They just shoot you right away. Boom, boom, boom. You know? I never heard, like, a torture story from them. No, I don't think so. I, the only type of people you really ever hear that kind and of Dominic story. Matiglio says Roy was a punk. He goes, he, that's why, like, he would be behind you, like, the shooting. That's why, like, they want to talk and, like, you know, like, do that type of stuff. He's like, he, he's like, he goes, you know, he was a punk. Right. A punk that'll blow your brains out in fucking two seconds flat. But, you know. Yeah. Meaning, like, with the gun. Like, meaning, like, you know, he's not, the, like, he's, he'll, like. Not a tough guy or whatever, but be able to, you know, you won't even know. Be kind of like right. that, um, how, the way Mitch described Michael Thompson. Michael this, Thompson, like, yes, yes, yeah. exactly, exactly, man. So, hey, let me uh go to this is a little different, but people, I could see, I keep seeing people say something about this. What is what's the deal on this one? Sammy's wearing, no, shirt. don't even tell me that cannot be true. I just saw Locked like several AI. I know, no, 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 no. I know corruption just did say it, but I mean, watch, make sure it's not AI. AI's tricking me on YouTube. You can't, you cannot <laughs> wear number him. 19. I, even if he was playing fucking softball and it said 10 softball, Sammy's not allowed to wear number 19. So there's no fucking way that shirt he's walking around with that. That's just no. a big spit in your face. I don't think no, that's real. 19. I got to see it. Corruption. I'm not saying you're wrong, but what the fuck are they thinking? Well, I, I don't know that he's saying he it happened. Somebody else he said it before. I don't people. know who first said it. <laughs> he's a <laughs> Ted softball club. He can't even wear 19. You know? <laughs> the fuck? Jesus Look fucking said. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here. Where'd you okay, see that? Here it is. Uh, it said it's on OC shorts. Okay. Scarper, what the fucking night? The number? I Greg guess. Scarper didn't kill his victim right away at time. No, Greg was, Greg was different. Greg was more. Greg like. No, you can't say he was a punk. Greg was a tough guy. He wasn't yeah, a punk. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't a punk at all. But just did everything his way. Not even a fucking softball game. I'm crying. Well, I mean, I'm just saying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That would be a negative, Francesco. What's up, Frank? By the way, what's I have all of Fish's paperwork right here, Francesco. So that yeah, would but be I a think negative. he's going. I think they're going back and forth. Yeah, I know. Well, letting him know I have Fish's paperwork, and he wasn't involved with the um, the Mayos, but it's a good, nice little smuggler's tale, and it's his legitimate paperwork. Then I got I fucking Chicago. tongue over there. You should see that spot now. I reckon Chicago had tomorrow night, 7 p.m., folks, history and organized crime. We'll be talking about the Kennedy assassination and more. We finally were able to book in that time with him. And then um, if you got that message, Mike, we'll talk after. Yeah. I reckon yeah. Chicago had the worst killers. Mad Sam would be Roy, would beat Roy to shame. Me and wow. Giancana. Oh no, man, Matt Sam Di Stefano. That guy was fucking so that was like Tony Spilatro, the ant's um mentor. And he was nuts, man. Like, remember he did you guys ever see the trial footage when he had the blowhorn? They bring him in like in a stretch chair, and he has a fucking blowhorn. And he's fucking you, you know what we're talking about? No. Colada's like, oh man, they, they were all in a bar, and like he would just take a girl in there and like he raped her. Like he oh, was just God. Yeah, he was a terrible, disgusting oh, fucking what a human being. And yeah. he would ice pick people like like they're he tortured them in that down in the basement. And it, yeah, I know what I remember Frank. Yeah, and Tony's yeah, the Frank one though that blew his arm off, Smolatro. So wow. uh, that's crazy. Yeah. The one though that your mentor uh, ends up though getting you. It Thank was him you. and someone yep. else. I forget the name though. Hey fellas, yeah. great show. Thank you, Francesco. Appreciate Thanks, Frank. That. Appreciate him, man. Appreciate so, it. Fuck wearing the t-shirt like that. <laughs> so, no, we don't know if that's true. Not to buy the. I need to buy that jersey with number nineteen. Gun smokes. Gay Korean neighbor next door. Who knows this guy, Mike? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm thinking he's uh, he's the one that used to be Lee Cole's downstairs neighbor or something, man. I What's don't up, know, Michelle? Man. What's happening? What's happening? Great to see you. Haven't seen you in a little while. 
Thanks for being here. What just happened? Oh, I just hit something. Hold up. I don't know. Did uh, it disappear? No, oh, it was on my side. We're good. I have to go down because I can't see the comments. Where are you at? All the way down? Go wherever, bro. I'm, I just, every once in a while, I'll see one that, that sticks out. In a, Chicago a- had some nutters. Yep. Mad Sam kidnapped the black man and took, and guess what? They were friends, too. Did a lot of time together. And then he, he was running though the uh, number rackets and um then Matt that's but that's what uh, Sam Giancana I no Sam Giancana is the one that took over the, the uh, numbers rackets it wasn't Matt Stan Di Stefano it was Sam G Giancana right when he got out and that's a fact there there's paperwork on that everything Sam Giancana took over what the fuck is the I'll tell you the guy's name real quick let me ask Google again it knows gangster. Hold on. Rose said Gunspoke's neighbor is cool. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't seen anything bad. DeGosto said it's Frank Francesco. Wait, what am I looking for again? What am I looking for, Mike? Nothing. I don't know. No, about, yeah, I am. About, oh, uh, about Sam DiStefano? Or, yeah, but about uh, who killed. Uh, he said Mad Sam, but oh, the numbers are active here. Let me ask her. Yeah. I got to tap the mic. Man, Ruby. you got to come on sometime. You got to come on, man. Who's the name of the guy that. Uh, why did I say Ruby? Hold on, Mike. One <laughs> second. Oh, let, me, let me try this one. <laughs> Can I try this? Do whatever. Stop. I'm just laughing, bro. It's cracking All right, me hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, shit. Matt, oh, dude, give me a second. Hold on. Uh, All right, just be comfortable. Sorry, folks. So, what's the question again? We're oh yeah, got it. Whose number racket did Sam G and Connor take? Numbers game. Here we go. So. All right, Mike, you're good. How many bodies did uh <laughs> that one's gonna be hard to beat, man? He told me it's... uh Lee told me to change my name on Gunsmoke Show today, so I'm stuck with it 14 days. All right, I hear you, man. I hear you. Tell me or else, Siri. <laughs> Ruby has five bodies. Alexa told me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why did I say Ruby? Why? What was that move, man? Everybody's just know. laughing <laughs> now, dude. <laughs> oh, right here. Giovanni. Oh. Giovanni. G- C- Giancana. Hold on. I just had it, Mike. You made me lose it. One second. Not bad, man. No, you didn't. It's not all on you. Alexis. Um, all right, listen, Southside Gam. Row, look at Row. There's this Row in here. Row were major Southside gambling bosses. Row had refused to surrender control of his operation as the outfit had demanded. In June 19, 1951, Row fatally shot Leonard Fat Lenny Califemi. But here it is. To stage. Okay, here we go. After his release from prison in 1942, Giancana made a name for himself by convincing Ricardo, then the outfit's underboss, to stage a takeover of Chicago's African-American policy lottery payout system for the outfit. Giancana's crew is believed to have convinced Eddie Jones to quit his racket and leave the country. Giancana's crew was also responsible for the August, August 4th, 1952 murder of African-American gambling boss Theodore Rowe. Jones and Rowe were major Southside gambling bosses. Rowe had refused to surrender control. That must be fucked up, man, because they, I heard they shared a cell and they were like, they were great buddies in prison. And then Gia kind of comes and takes his whole racket. Yeah, that's messed up. That's messed up. Loomis, Siri is going into witness protection after tonight. <laughs> after giving up all that info. <laughs> come on, guys, come into the chat. You know, we're at 39. Let's hit up to 40. Let's get it to 50, 60. Let's rock and roll. Come say yeah. hello. And 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 give your here. opinion on whether uh 
whether uh subscribe up and center should be released man should they be released uh did they did they actually pay their debt to lulu. society yeah. oh What's sorry that? mike you're no, right that's all. lulu looking beautiful with the new uh picture I really enjoy this awesome channel and everyone here as well. You are all awesome as well. Thankful to be Thank here. You. Thank Love you. it. Love you, Ruby. Ruby. Lou. I'm like, Ruby, remember what the sheep <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Oh. Were you watching <laughs> it? You, did you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I'm watching that. I'm looking at that. I'm right here. Uh, center already. Yes. Released from yeah. He's in the halfway house, man. As far as the, yeah, we, that's what it says. Okay. So, all right, let's have guys, let's try, try to stick with the uh, topic for one second here. But what do you guys think? Do they deserve to be out? Um, secondly, do you think that they'll do, they'll never do any YouTube shit? No way. Man, I, I'll never say. Okay, so they a lot of people, men, though, a right? lot of they people say they men. still they're like not Italian, they're not even fully Italian, right? They weren't made men; they were just in a crew. Uh, uh man, look it up because I don't want to say it wrong, but I thought they did get made. I could be well, wrong. You, why you worried? You're worried if you're, you're wrong, worried, man. I don't want to say the wrong thing. You. Say the wrong thing. Everyone's gonna come down hard on you and be like, "This guy is." I don't care about that, dude. Fuck him. I'm not worried about that. I just don't. I just don't want to give false information, man. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> what an asshole, man. Ah. That's a complete jerk. I come over here with this guy. Freaking jerk. Oh, wow, oh. man. Jeez. Man, what a great show, man. This guy's over here making fun. <laughs> Listen, man. Let me, let me, can I get one thing off my chest real fast, man? Because I was yeah. threatened to get thrown off of this show, man. Okay. What? And yeah, you threatened me, bro. And I want to talk about that. So I do a short the other day. It has to do with chicken. So I put some country music, Brooks and Dunn. And I get a text <laughs> because it, 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 sometimes, even though YouTube lets you use the music, even though they let you use the music, they give you a copyright thing and let you know, hey, your, your video's blocked in like Zimbabwe because Brooks and Dunn didn't hook a deal with them. So I get a, I get a text and it goes, Mike, you put Brooks and Dunn in the video. What the hell? If we get banned, if we get demonetized for a Brooks and Dunn video, <laughs> you're out, man. You're off the show. <laughs> so I was dread, <laughs> man. Brooks and Dunn. I said when I did, I knew it wasn't me. I was like, oh, oh guys in Pittston. I remember I was driving home from Pittston, and I was oh, just like, like, oh. And then I saw Brooks and Dunn. And I was just like, forget about it. I told Mike, what did I say? Jesus Christ. If we get demonetized <laughs> for that, man, you're off the show. I got oh, thrown oh, unbelievable. Man. I thought you were ready to get deep. I'm like, if this motherfucker gets deep right now without pulling me aside and talking to me and going public on a real thing, I thought you were getting serious right there. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to tell me some oh, shit right shit. on blast. Yeah, Put just going right straight on. up. Man. Put me right on blast. Hey, somebody in somebody in the chat knows was was either one of those cats made was center or Testa made? No, the only one in Roy's crew who was made was Roy, and and obviously, nah. Roy, if you want to consider Nino and his crew, Nino was head. Roy, Roy, it, you know, it took it was hard for Roy to get made, and uh, then Nino though, spoke for him, and then Roy got made, but no one though in his actual crew though was made. I'm not afraid to say that either. Okay. I know you're worried. I mean, you, I, I just want. I to said something you. wrong, Mike, to the UFC fans the other day, and they're the worst. He's they're like casual. Oh man, did they go? Off like, you're a casual. First, I didn't want to call someone a casual. Ugh, I'm gonna. Okay, I'm gonna, okay, you ready? You ready, buddy? I'm gonna, like done, done. But speaking of that, oh yeah, they are made in the Lucchese family. He's totally right. I'm an idiot. That's what I thought, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> See what That's happens what I'm we saying. Have... See, we I'm sorry. We start having fun. I just start blowing up shit like, yeah, yeah. this and that. Vic and gas pipe made them. But are yes, fully... that's what I thought, man. I didn't want to say it, you know, without having a listen. Let me know. tell you something. You guys also know about the some of the people who were made in Philadelphia towards the end, and it was like with a piece of paper, and they they there was they were like German and fucking French or this and that. I'm just saying, like. 
it, when, when people are being made in that time, I'm not taking it away from what I said. I was completely wrong. You know, smash me about it. I'm accountable for my words. Oh, well, but um, I just, I forgot though that they came over from that. And like, it wasn't like the crew, you know what I mean? But because it was hard for Roy. So that's my fault. I was wrong. Okay. Who were you saying wasn't Italian out of them though? Uh, I know. I was wondering if uh, Center was 100% Italian. Yeah, because his original name. See, they just changed their name, man. When they came over, it was it was originally S E N T E Senti. Probably. Okay. Oh, there you changed. go. And then they changed it. So, yeah. No, I thought they were both Italian, man. Yo, they they probably are. Were made when they joined Lucchese. You know what? Too. They. I bet you though they are. Because um, I heard that someone keep, when I was just talking to someone the other day and they were saying from the Lucchese. But with my thing was they went with the Lucchese after Roy, right? They, yeah, they right, leave, right. Or, because they, what did they, they didn't they leave got, Lucchese to come to Roy. They they went to Lucchese. They after. went over there afterwards, right? Hey, they're right, the ones because, that clipped Roy, you know. Right, so, so who were they going to be with? Right, who were they going to be with on Allegedly, that side once Roy's gone? You know, now, now they're fucking out. It's like you got to say, hey, you better quit that shit. <laughs> Watch your back. Wow. Oh, Watch now, stuff. Troll's going to be like, oh my god, they're ratting. They're ratting. <laughs> they're ratting. Good they guys are I watched Goodfellas. I watched Goodfellas twenty three times. Uh, you know, oh, I, I get caught on a rat. You don't know what the fuck you are until you're tested. Plain and simple. Until you step, until you're at the plate, you don't know what you're made of till you're you don't know who your friends are till they're tested that's just a fact in life right all right Center yeah they were made for- they were made for deleting uh roy that, thank that's you john okay thank yeah. you johnny noodles that would make a lot of sense too the timing's perfect they clipped roy that's why they were made Gil and roy got it right Man, uh, Mark knows his shit too, man. Both the twins grew up in Canarsie around Lucchese's last Reno and Varios. Oh, yeah, no, Marky Mark, dude, sharp. Yeah, he knows. His shit. I was watching an old one, Mark, where I was talking about something and you kept throwing me boom, 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 little dingers. It was nice. <laughs> Grego. Frankie DeChico made a deal with Center to kill Roy. That's right. Maurice Wig Shop. Nice name, man. Nah, they were made about five years after Roy clipped. Wow, man, they were still out in the street that long. Because after that's Roy was gone, I don't know much about I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be totally honest. Right. After Roy, it's not even like I know everything about beforehand. I'm just saying though, after Roy and the chandelier in the fucking trunk frozen, that's what I know up to. And I do know, though, that Roy was a mess and he was eating Valium constantly and, like, running around, like, fucking so paranoid knowing that, like, you know, he was knowing it was coming. So it's weird that he met them, but how they learned him at that time. Because the way on Brett's channel, guys, he has the interview from Albert um, DeMeo, Roy's son. And in that household, uh, he, it, it wasn't hidden. It was absolutely known what Roy did. And uh, he would always have him get ready to go on the run and stuff like that. And uh, there's the other weird thing, Mike. He never missed a dinner, never missed a birthday party. Like, loved his kids. I know. And there's video. That's what trips me out is there's actually videos of them. Psychology. Yeah. Like barbecuing and hanging out. Uh, Hey, he said drop the link if you want. Crime spot. If you want to come on and talk about it. What what, what, do you want to jump on here and talk about it? Or, or, uh, we talk of about? course, man. Of course, somebody's well, got some good yeah, conversation. He's, like, he's the fucking, uh, the Mayo fucking man, right all here. about it. Yeah, hell yeah. Anybody that's got some serious, uh, what's it called? Like that. Nice. We got NYC crime spot popping in. I could take a leak real quick. Hold on. No, 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 no. <laughs> that would do that. That was, I, I don't know what happened to that song. That you don't song. know what happened. To the I'll tell you what happened, man. <laughs> You're gonna leave. We got Pete the Pick on there, just classic. There it is, right there. It's dropped. You're gonna leave. We got Pete the Pick on there, just 
Is that you playing right there. in the background loud? Yeah, I'm just, yeah. He said, Frank said, Joey and Anthony were good kids. Roy F their heads up. That's what that's what Pete said too, man. That's what Pete the Pick said. Joey and Anthony, they were good kids. Roy fucked their heads up. Yeah, well, you know what though? They were younger, probably like looked up to them, and then you know, oh well, we're doing this. It's so easy once you look or when you get yeah, I believe right. that. I loved the Malik interview. Malik, hell yeah. Malik Spellman. The been on twice. <laughs> Dude, he messes with me all the time. He's the man. Um, he was on twice actually, JG, and he'll be back on. Nice, Mike. We got 40 in the chat right now. Appreciate nice. you guys. Keep coming in, keep rolling in, and uh, hit that like button, get this moving. And we're gonna have history and not I'm t- history and organized on crime on tomorrow. But Brett's coming over right now from NYC Crime Spot to talk about some of the Mayo murder stuff. Fish was part of the Harvey Milk crew. All right. <laughs> Oh, hey, one <laughs> thing I can say up. is I have his paperwork right here out of everyone out there. So, you know, yeah. Boys, Bay Watcher, the contract to kill Roy was given to John Gotti. Nobody wanted to kill Roy because he had dangerous coups. So Frank DeChico made a deal with the Gemini twins. Paul Wallen got, yeah, because he had like too many guys around him too. When uh, Gene Gotti, I believe, asked John, but uh, Maurice, if you have a channel or whatever, guys, subscribe over there and subscribe to us, Maurice, because you know your shit. Hop on anytime, too, if you want, Maury. Thank you very much. All right. There he is. What's up? Somebody, he's he's muted from one end, either from us or him. No, that was me. That was there me. You go. What's going on? What's happening, man? How you guys doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. I ain't Chilling. Man. What ha- what's up? What the words? What's wrong with your face? Uh, no, I don't feel like taking out my uh, laptop and shit. Oh, that's cool. Man. Oh, okay, I get it. You got the phone bro. out. Remember, Mike, when I woke up with that, like I woke up on the phone, how it looks. Did you wake, yeah, did you wake up like uh, Loomis, half asleep yeah. or something. <laughs> oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a really good one you did the other day, man. I just watched that last night, and that was man hearing him talk about. Hearing Pete talk about seeing Joey while he was locked up and stuff, that was pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, that I didn't really know cool. that story either till he told me that. That was pretty crazy. That was Before you're quick, Marky oh, Mark. <laughs> Shout out, Marky Mark. Mark. It's a note, not paperwork, he said. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> what's so your, I, know. I mean, you know, wait. like. It, Remember, we don't we don't give points for gangsterism. Just one one thing before stupid thing before we ask a serious question to Brett. I want to know if Fish actually hooped his paperwork. That's what I want to know. Is he hooping his paperwork or is he just walking around with it, man? Is he hooping it? All right. Is he hooping it or not? So so uh what what's your take on it, uh forget. Brett? On them getting out. Yeah. Uh like, should they get out or should Good they not get out? Thank you. Yeah, just, just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Just, just in yeah. general, what is your thoughts on? Because I mean, yeah, you've like, actually talked thoughts, to a like, guy like a lot. Your moral feelings, right? Right. Like, what do you think? Um, you well, according to to the law, I mean, at, at least. All right. So here's like, so when Anthony was going to get out, um, I know somebody who spoke to one of the guys. Uh, who, who prosecuted them? A uh, Walter Mack. He's pretty high profile. You can look him up. Yeah, and know. Uh, you know he he was looking into it, and you know he was finding out how well behaved Anthony was, and this and that, and that's kind of what he was saying. Um, he's not a prosecutor anymore, but he was at one time a high you know profile prosecutor. Um, he's a lawyer now, just a lawyer. And then with Joey, I mean, it could be the case for both of them. And then with Joey, it's just that, you know, like you guys were saying before, he was sentenced for crimes, you know, prior to 1986. So, you know, he's up for parole in 25. So, obviously, he was turned down a bunch of times. And um, they're letting him out at 35. I think I think back then, 
I don't know if life in prison was, I don't know if it was like 25 plus 10 or 25 plus 20 years, like 45 years. This is kind of confusing, you know? Um, right. But basically, the way I say it is, um, you know, their, their sentences have expired. Just look at it that way. I mean, that's the easiest way to look at it. According to right. the federal government, the sentences of Anthony Center and Joseph Testa have expired. Right. And that's it. I mean, that's I don't know the law. I mean, I mean, that's just right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so I don't think you're ever going to hear from them. Right. Right. Well, let me ask you this. Do, what do you mean by that, though? You're not ever going to hear from them by, like, what do you mean? Like, I don't do think the they're going to do any. Right. Yeah, I don't think they'll do any interviews. I mean, unless they're getting a big paycheck. No, yeah, absolutely. That's why I was saying, though, like, you know, I, I doubt that you'll ever see them uh, on here. And plus, they're, they got to they gotta adapt, too, and stuff like that. I mean, just getting out. But the, you know, like Mike, you said, though, they have uh, there's computers and tablets and stuff, I'm sure, though. But I mean, like, the way the world is now, when they get out, they're going to be like, what the fuck? Right. But they got potentially too many loose ends. Bro, I don't think they'll come out because of that. I don't think they want to pull a uh, mafia cops deal where they're out showing their faces everywhere. And somebody goes, oh, damn, that's that guy that uh, did this. And it's a body that they didn't have. You know what I'm saying? What, think about that, man. Somebody who passed the, the, the Brooklyn Bridge and saw them throw an arm over. So, I mean, I'm just making shit up, but you know what I'm saying? And, and right. them go, damn, it, that's the person we saw club that dude and throw him in the back of the Cadillac, you know what I mean, or whatever. And they go to the cops, and all of a sudden there's a new case on them, you know? So, yeah, that's yeah, one I thing mean, they have to be careful of. Yeah, I would think if that was, I mean, I hear what you're saying, like somebody can just come out of the woodwork, right? Like if somebody right, can do that with anyone. But I would think I, I would think that they would at least try to get them on the other ones that they didn't get got for, which is seemingly a lot. <laughs> no, I'm saying but a witness, an actual witness see them. Right. Like right. see them on YouTube. Like they hadn't seen them in a while. They're not paying any attention to it. Not that their faces ain't already out there. Hell, they're on our thumbnail. But I'm just saying, you know, if it, if it right. if it became big to where a lot the masses saw it, and then somebody goes, Shit, that's that guy I saw. You know, some do gooder. You know. Oh, I get, I got you, I got you now, I got like you. Like the okay. caps, that's how they got caught. They're on. I thought you were just out. saying, oh, yeah. maybe one day someone's gonna wake up and then just look and, and see their name. No, bro, I'm this. saying like an actual yeah, witness, yeah, like some do gooder that ain't normally looking at mob content or whatever. I got you, I got looks on Sally mom. Jesse Raphael or Jerry Springer and goes, "Holy crap, I don't know that guy's name, but I saw him club a dude in the head and." Or right, throw an arm right. in the garbage, you know, and I kept going, and now I see him here. He's out walking around. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, like a case that they hadn't got caught on, that that maybe the cops or the or authorities have zero info on. That's what I'm saying. That's what would be dangerous for him. Yeah, you know. So that's just my thought, man. I I don't think they'll go like do any public stuff either, man. I don't think well, they I'm will. I'm saying starting their own podcast. Like, I mean, do you think people are going to be pulling for them to do? People it? are going to try. Hell yeah! And sure listen, though, here's the thing, though, Mike. Readjusting back into society is going to be extremely hard. Like we were talking earlier, Brooks was here. This and that. They're going to be offered some money. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And they're like Vlad. Vlad will fucking pay him fucking whatever the fuck you know to get him on. That's yeah, a I good mean, point, right there. That's an easy I'm way. Glad. That's an easy way for them to live, Mike. I don't think. Oh yeah, think pay Vlad pays like that. He don't pay like that. Uh, no. Oh, oh sorry, man, no. I've heard. How much do you think Vlad pays for those big ones, Brett? I've heard he pays he plays six figures. A few grand, maybe yeah. if he wants it. Oh man, I've heard he's he pays right one one. Absolutely. Ones. Patrick Bed David, that motherfucker will put out some money. He'll put out money. I mean, I think everybody would love to see him. Talk uh, and hear what they got to say. A lot. But like, will they? I man, I don't know about that. But uh, how about Mike, how about Mike, Pete? Does he ever Mike, talk to him? This. You're in prison now for thirty years, Mike. Right? You get out. You go to a halfway house. You got to get a job. You got to get this and that. All you knew growing up was being a criminal. You had lots of money when you were referred when you were out here last time. Oh, this lab TV guy wants you to do an interview. Everything's already written down. So if he talks to his lawyer, don't incriminate yourself. Could he give you 500K? 
You tell me they're not going to do, 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 do let it stand to say it or no. That's a go tough one, man. I know I, who's going to turn that down. Who's going to turn think, that down? I mean, now what? Now let me ask this though. That, now that would because they're made men. They can't though normally do it underneath the rules of Costa Nostra if they're still involved. But is there anyone to hold them to that? Is there anyone above them, any Lucchese's who can say, hey, we don't want Anthony and what's got they, they, You know what I mean? It depends on what they talk about. Well, too. Are they they, go if in they're there active, they definitely will want them on, uh, you know, doing yeah, interviews. Yeah. But the, the, my thing is, if I was in that position, I, I'd be like grocery store, sit down and talk to this guy. <laughs> Especially if you're 69, 70 years old. I think, man, I think we won't see them start like some pod. I, I just think that we'll see them interviewed before they pass away. I think it'd be great. Let, but, Brett, do, does does Pete have any hope that he'll be able to talk to him? Or is he No, they'll probably – I mean, I'm guessing they'll be on lifetime, you know, supervision. Is that right? Parole. Paper. Marky Mark, Marky Mark would probably know better for guys in, in that case. I just always assume that they'll be on lifetime supervision. I mean, why would you want guys like that associating with felons? I mean, I'm I'm thinking. Listen, I heard this, and I may be wrong. That one of them may be off paper after he completes his halfway house stuff. Um, I don't maybe. Know. I I'm not telling you this is a fact. I I heard it, and I think I heard it, but and it, it, it so I don't know, man. Yeah, because okay, look at this. Rob had a life sentence. Uh. And they changed it when he got the release. He, he he was given 14 months on this violation. I, whatever happens after he's released after that, he's off paper. Okay. Okay. Rob you see, that's, have, the, that's the stuff that I, I don't know. The, the It's a federal of. deal, though, too. So I know a guy that was on life parole. He caught so many cases. He was on life parole. And uh, this was state stuff, man. He He will never in his life be off paper, man. All right. So Never. Mark, yeah. So once they complete the parole, whatever that is, then that means they're uh, they're off. Then Marky Mark right. says, "Okay, right. that's interesting." So if that's the case, then yeah, I mean they could then. Yeah, I well, guess. Why did Sammy say he's on supervised parole for the rest of his life? Well, he may be. He he may be. There's different. Like I said, I got a buddy that will never get off. He's mm. on life parole. This this cat never will. And but and, is I mean, um. Sammy, is Gene Morello and Anthony Reggiano, aren't they felons? Or did they not become felons after you rat? <laughs> Does that change your status? No, that's yeah, a serious question. That's a serious no, question. I get you. I, I know what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, you know the judge gives you less time for cooperation, obviously, but I don't know how that works like within the books, though. Like, I'm sure on their paperwork, like for helping know the government, then it, it would be considered. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. That, that's a good question. Let me, let me say this about that, though. Uh, also, Brett. Um, yeah, yeah. So, ghost. so as far as uh, Gene Barillo goes, at one point, remember, Gene did have to stop doing his show with John because they were whatever stipulations he was on at the time. Now, remember, he's able to go back and do the okay. show with him. I think he's off exactly. of paper. Now. All right. So, All right. once you're off, you can associate with whoever. Yeah, he's off now. Yeah, because he's going right, everywhere right. now. And yeah, he's off yeah. now. Yeah, I just yeah. thought that. Those two would be on lifetime. I mean, I just thought that's how it works. I mean, but I maybe right. I guess no, I'm I, wrong. I don't know. I guess it depends on what they tell them when they're released. I because I don't have that information, but other than what's on the Bureau of Prisons, like how long they the got different crimes though. It's like what Sammy Gravano right. did compared those of them to. And but I, all I'm going to say is like, um, uh, as far as like, and I won't get into because listen, I'm not a fucking expert on everything, but. If there's anything I looked into for an abnormal amount of time and I spent too much time on it, it's this fucking topic. So as far as like people wondering, like, are they going to adjust? Are they going to be okay? Are they going to be all right financially? This and that. They're going to be fucking fine. Believe me. I'm not going to say why or how I know why, but they're going to be fine. Now, whether they have to actually work a job and adjust to like real life, I mean, uh, maybe. But as far as like, are they going to be taken care of? But Yeah. 
Yeah, they got families. They both got families. Yes, yeah. and I'm talking about family, like real said. family. I'm not talking about like right. They're actual whatever. families. Yeah. Right, right. They're actual families. No, no, I understand that though. But usually, yeah. though, isn't it though when you're on parole for labor or whatever? Like you know, it's mandatory. They got to get a job when they get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but that, at yeah, 79, they they don't. What job are they going to get? They they, they might they, have to do something, retire. some kind of community yeah, they may affair, have, right? Or whatever right. the fuck it is. But as far as like. Are they going to be okay? Like, oh yeah, they'll they'll you're be right. fine. Sixty five is like the stop. And, yeah, you're right, right though, Mike. It doesn't matter because sixty nine, because sixty five is like the stop. And sixty three, you can retire if you want. Actually, sixty five here. Oh really, man? I thought it was everywhere was the same. Is there a different 65. state to state? Sixty five here. Wow, you can retire here at sixty three, man. As far as I know, man, you could kill someone in Texas and go. You could literally shoot someone in the head in Texas and go home that night. You get well, bailed yeah, out. Are you kidding me? That's that's just. But that's a bail reform oh, problem. Yeah, I know, I know. That's crazy. It's nuts, man. It's a bail reform problem there, though. That you know that seriously, man. There's people with How several bodies running around. Oh, you murdered this many people, so we're gonna like. <laughs> Bro, these people are running around with. We'll lay it back out to do a little more damage. Yeah, they're running around with no cash bonds, buddy. I mean, just loose. They didn't. Oh, you don't have the money? Well, we're gonna let you out on a personal recognizance bond. How many bodies you got? Oh, we'll we'll see. Come back for trial. Oh, you just. How about this one? The guy pled guilty to this murder, and he goes, "Hey, can I get a haircut before sentencing? I don't want to show up for sentencing looking bad if I'm locked up, and I got to do a couple other things." The judge let him go. People raised so much hell that they he had to change his mind and have him come back. And actually, it was a lady judge. She changed her mind and said, "No, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to come back." Yeah, you guys see, yeah, you guys see. It was about a month ago with that dude that jumped over the fucking what do you call it? Uh, chambers, not chambers. Over to uh, grab the judge, the lady's hair, and fucking was like bashing her. She was like giving him a sentence, and she got like a little cocky. Yeah, man, fucking, that was crazy. Threw, like Superman, he Threw fucking flew went, straight eh, over. That's the worst thing. Right ever. over, dude. Right on her hair, and I uh, holy fuck did that guy jump fucking high? But worst. Uh, will they? Hey, Brett, do you think they'll be able to get uh, social security because neither one of them ever worked an actual job? Yeah, I don't know how they're entitled how to any fucking work? social security. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, Anthony, hard. you know, Anthony got in trouble. Well, as much trouble as you can get in with a life sentence, he got caught about three years into his sentence. He was still on the books, uh, and in the union, they were still paying into his fucking pension. Um, because if, if you guys don't know the whole story, I won't get into it, but his family is I do remember in that. carding yeah. and, you know, this is what I say. He'll be fine. His family's in carding and, uh, they've been yeah. in their own fucking troubles over the years. Right. And, um, you know, he was on the books from there and they were paying into his pension and they finally found it like three years after he was like doing his bid already. Right. Um, right. yeah, they bought, they busted him. <laughs> That's right. I do remember reading that or seeing that. We may have talked about it on one of our shows too. Did you talk about that on one of yours? Oh uh, no, yeah, no, he has a no, about the no show jobs though that were on paper. Well, that's what it was. It was a no show while he was he locked one. up for life. While he yes, was locked up, he was doing it. So, but they're not going to pay off on that, are they? I mean, listen, I don't want to. If it's going to, no, be no I mean that's what I'm saying. Know, like, I know. That's yeah. tough. Yeah, but that's a good point, Maury. Hey, uh, I think Joey's there, Mark. Uh, Anthony's in a halfway house. Someone Chabuk Dunn is up here said though they've been out because they already Ooh, were hey. in halfways for the last few years. No, uh, uh, Joey Testa's in Terminal Island. I just checked today, unless he got out in the last two hours. And Testa's in a halfway house in New York. Yeah, I, that's what I thought you meant, Mark. That's what I thought you meant, bro. Yeah, yeah. Brad, are you breathing? Yeah, I'm here. As far as I know, um, Anthony's uh, Brooklyn somewhere, and um, he'll be officially out in June, and Joey will be in April. Say, I think this guy, Joe, are you related to Anthony Center? He's related to one of them, I think, man. Hey, what's up, Joe? How are you? Thanks for coming on the show. Subscribe up. Yeah, jump on if you want to talk about it too, man. We'll drop the link. 
What if you want to get say? on, he's related to Anthony Center. That's what he was saying, man. So if he wants to get on and explain explain it, I'm, I'll be happy to hear Open it. Open door, oh, absolutely, without a doubt, man. Without a doubt, absolutely, without a doubt. But yeah, man, that was that. I love to see something like that where somebody's talking about something. <laughs> Look that, at this. Real quick, I thought you were okay, Lewis, but seems like you're a Chad role like the rest. OG Mike, nothing against you. <laughs> what the fuck is he mad at me for? What are you I talking about? Come on, man. Christ. All right, fish, I'm coming for your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> man, come on, oh, fish. No, but but for real, the the yes, uh, I defend you all the time when I break out the paperwork and this, and you're gonna say that to me. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Don't run fish off, man. That's we have our own. He's troll, running man. me off. What are you talking about? No fish to you, OG Mike. Fuck Did you him. get hurt from that? Did you get your feelings? No, hurt? but I'm gonna Come stand on, my bro. fucking ground when I defend the guy every fucking show. <laughs> That's what I get for the fucking defending him. Fuck him. <laughs> He's going in the bathroom if he comes back heavy. <laughs> oh shit! If he's coming Where back heavy, he's go, going. Mike, hold on. If he comes back heavy, he's going in. We can't, man. We got a good show going here. We got a lot of people watching. It's a great show, man. Can't, I know. Can't just throw him in there. <laughs> we got people handling that. Steve's handling that. Steve's handling that to chat. We're good, man. We're I know good. what he said, Marky Mark. I got that. We're good. We're good. I, I I still want to bring up the point that what the fuck I watched I that show though? the other day. <laughs> what the fuck Stop do? talking about fish, man. I don't give a shit about God, fish, I got a piss. Jesus. I want to talk about the, the, the clip from Pete the Pick talking about seeing Testa. To me, that was the coolest. I, I don't know why. That type of stuff. Yeah, like, that was weird, me. right? Yeah, I don't know. I never heard that until he told me that. It was cool, man. It was just like Here's these guys like like hearing him say that the judge told him, the judge told him, you're never gonna uh, you're never gonna see each other again and all that and and think about it what what control really does the judge have to where they land right right yeah the judge can't say where they're gonna land where they're gonna put them the Bureau of Prisons has to deal with that man so so they end up uh, they end up bringing uh, you know bringing them through wherever they go. And so I, what did he say? They were at Terre Hut, and yeah. uh, that's I mean that's an incredible story, man. How much time did Pete do? Uh, total in his life about twenty two years. Right. Hey yeah. Joe, is do you know how long they're going to be on? Uh, how long they're going to be on parole after they leave the halfway house? Do you have any information on that, man? Tell us. And will Pete be able to talk to him? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do an episode with Pete on that, of all his um, convictions. Right. All the crazy things that he was doing. Yeah. And, Brett, uh, yeah. Brett, Brett, <laughs> Brett, is Pete just like, are you guys working on something together? Or is he just, does he just pop on like all the time to tell you, like, you know, more stories? No, that's part of a, that's that clip that I put up is part of like an hour conversation we had. But I just put that one clip out right now. Gotcha. Got it. Um, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. I mean, I did send him some stuff and I'm trying to, it, it's hard to help when I'm so far away. You know, I'm going to have to go visit him and, try to set him up better you know i i want i'm trying to fly him in to get him over here and you know it's kind of hard man it's sure. it's a lot it's a lot it's not it's me tough, man. right no, it's, it's a lot of other other factors that are involved and no, man, listen man it's a lot just for ourselves so i mean i get it yeah it's tough i can't yeah. even imagine trying to set it up because well okay i can't imagine because i've got a couple fighters that i want to do interviews with that i know one of which Killed two guys in the ring, and this guy's got a flip phone, bro. Oh, so, wow. can you imagine me trying to uh, <laughs> trying to set up a, a distant interview? I'm next time I'm in that area, I'm actually going to set up and just film, you know, and hopefully Loomis can jump on because I'm sure he'll have questions for him and stuff. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I flew I flew it. out to no. see him. You know, we we met, hung out with him and stuff. And is that how you yeah. did it before? Because I saw you did have the 
the I do you know, have an in person I do have an in person right. thing with him that I never put out. Um, I got a bunch of stuff. I don't know, I just... But you got one that you did release too, because I've seen one with both of y'all sitting there, right? Yeah, it was just like a clip. He was talking about someone okay. in a clip. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, I knew I saw something where you guys were sitting together at the same time. Yeah. yeah hey, yeah, Steve. Yeah. They both of those guys are about sixty nine and sixty eight now. That's that's what their ages are. It's it, you know it's a trip how they have that. Uh, if you so you check the Bureau of Prisons, it tells you where yeah. everybody is and all that. Right now, Rob's off off the books, man. At uh, the county jail where he was at, he's okay. not in there anymore. It says he was transferred, and the Bureau of Prisons says that they don't have him. So oh, shit, right so now, where is he? I don't know where Rob is, man. He may he could either be in medical. Or he could be transferred to a halfway house already. Anthony yeah, left us in '89. That's a long time in the brick. He's scared, not understanding how to be part of reality. He doesn't understand yet. So Joe is who? I think he's related to Anthony. Oh, that's what he's saying. Okay. That's what he. That's what he said. How is? How are you related to him, Joe? Nephew, whatever. Just you curious. think you think he's in the hospital, Mark? You think that's what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Bay Watcher? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he said uh, something else earlier. I was rolling. I'm like, I can't. Yeah, hit. he's good, man. Oh, he's fucking hysterical. <laughs> he said, he said tell, tell him reality is fake and tell him to watch the matrix <laughs> Stop oh shit. oh yeah he's, it said he was transferred somewhere mark and and yet it doesn't say weird like and and the one place says they don't have him so yeah man and i haven't heard from him for a couple days so i'm thinking uh the dude is. I hope he's okay, man, because you know he's dealing with the cancer. I'm, right I'm like, you got me laughing when you're talking serious. Who do you? No, 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 bro. No. Oh man, we lost. Uh, okay. Did we lose Brett? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, I hope. No, I said. Who, who do you hope is okay? Rob. Oh yeah, fuck yeah. Right now oh, you, you lost. Con you lost contact. I haven't talked to him for a couple days, and on, not, on yeah, the, well, uh, I won't say anything else. I was just kidding. That's it. No, 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 no. That's all on the couple on on the paperwork. It's no, it's all good. Uh, on okay. the paperwork, it's got him as uh, transferred to another facility, but they don't have him in Bureau of Prisons either. Got it. I'm back. I'm what back. Up? <laughs> we lost you there for a second. Yeah, man. yeah. Sorry. Man, how did you even get in contact? I mean, I don't want you to give up your source or anything like that, but how do you even get in contact with a guy like Pete like that, man? That's nuts. And 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 like I said, if it's giving up anything, don't do it because I don't want people to try to figure it out. But that's, that's no. The truth cool. is, and some people you know that the is, um, and you reach out, you know. The yeah, truth is, he on one of his bids that he did in the two thousands, he did like a ten year bid. Um, he was in there with a character whose name I won't name because they, I I have a very uh, low opinion of this person, and he basically threatened to kill me. So he was in there with this guy, and when they got out, they remained friends, and then one day they, they started showing up on YouTube. Somebody's Not gonna the write the name. Opera. Somebody's gonna write the name of his of his channel in the chat. I know, but right. um, so right. yo, uh, not to cut you off, but that Joe, Joe, no, Mike, you you were wrong, Mike. I'm like wrong. He okay. Were, he said, well, he was I'm saying it was his uncle or something. That's what I thought he said. Okay. So, well, like, did I he said, say that? I didn't see that. In a comment on agreed. a different video. I didn't see it. I'm not related to it. <laughs> Mike. Like, I'm not really, you want to kill me tonight. I'm not related to Anthony, but my family is connected from Connecticut to New York and a lot of history. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right, I want to hear what Brett, please, for one second. On the this uncle one. thing, though. Okay, no, I'm just, well, I wanted to, you know, that we had to, we had to, we had to settle that. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fucking dick. Ah, All right, let's go. Brett, I'm sorry, man. 
No, that's all right. Yeah. So he he had showed up with this. He showed up on YouTube with this guy who I'm not going to name because he's a low life and uh, he deserves the worst that life has to offer him. And basically, my first interview with Pete was like two years ago, or even maybe even more than that. Um, and then they kind of got into a thing, and I tried to. I tried to speak to Pete again after that, and this guy was, like, controlling Pete's life, and he, he was a fucking nut, right? So, basically, after we kind of found out that that guy was out of his life, me and my friend Quentin made it a point to befriend him and let him know that we still wanted to talk to him and be friendly with him and, like, do things with him. So, that's how it happened, and then, you know, we've been the people he's been talking to, you know, ever since. Um... Wow. And there's one other person. So he talks to like three people. That's it. About this stuff, you know. About that kind of stuff, yeah. Right. Does right. he worry about talking about like accidentally saying the wrong thing or anything like that? Um, what do you mean, like on the phone? Like, or? like talking about a case or anything like that. I mean, I, obviously he's pretty, he's a smart guy. He doesn't just say stuff. But I'm just saying. Because there was so much crime back then, I guess a lot of the stuff is just. Uh, so here's the I, I thing. A lot of yeah, I hear what you're saying. So here's the thing, and I I think that well f well like as far as like publicly, I mean, we pre-record everything. Even though he he says he's willing to do a live stream soon, I'll let you guys know when if that's gonna. Oh, happen. that'd be cool. Um, yeah. So if even if he did say something, you know, and then the other part of it is like I know what not to ask him. Um, mm -hmm. Right, right, right. So I'm never going to put him in a, in a position cool. to talk about in person. You know, it's another story, but I'm not going to do it for the internet as like a thing. You know, right. he openly spoke about um, the double homicide he went to trial for in the late '70s. Um, he was willing to even speak about that, which I was a little surprised. But I guess he was found innocent, so I guess he could speak about it, right? Right, um, right, right. Because there's no double jeopardy on that, I guess. Yeah, and then he's just sticking to, to the story, his story anyway. So it's just, you know, and that, and I don't know. I mean, there's other things that they say he did, which I guess I can't ask him, I can't ask him about that on YouTube. Right. Um. And, yeah, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough sometimes to try to make it interesting like that gemini twins question i knew the answer to that question but that's not the point you know right to try to like you know as far as their name on the streets right 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 yeah right. but you know i gotta try to do like try to make things interesting so people you know just try to form things in a certain way just to get them talking and that's then, and that's that's how you got to do right that's exactly how you gotta do if you got somebody on you don't want to like act like you already know the thing or start exactly and it's, that right. was pretty and, interesting too yeah yeah and i'm not trying to interview p like if you watch them they're just we're just like talking we're just having like discussions kind of like it's not I'm, I'm trying very hard not to like i'm trying to make it a little informal i guess even though i am asking him questions but you know, he's 75 years old, so it's like you got to kind of like... Right, right. That makes try it to hit on tougher. things, you know? Say it again? I said that makes it even tougher when you're dealing with a person that's older, you know, and you're trying to let them say the stuff that they're saying without over... You know what I mean? At least for me, you know what I mean? I get excited, especially talking to somebody like that who's got uh, knowledge like that everybody else doesn't have. That guy was around just historical mafia people man right you know what i'm saying he's not just like some regular guy just, he's not gene mustine and freaking uh jerry capisci you know what i'm saying right like right, making right. Shit up. Yeah. he's a real deal you know no he's well documented and you know like that moron fish that was on here before who i thought we were okay or whatever but he just he's the judge rule by he's the judge rule by the way he's a fucking <laughs> he's the or what did uh mark you say chad rule I mean, yeah, something like that. He says, "Yeah, I don't remember Pete and Murder Machine. Tell me what page." Yeah, let me check my fucking forearm. I got the page tattooed on my fucking wrist right now, <laughs> as if I'm going to come up with the page number. It's 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 a out of all the fakes on fucking YouTube. There's so many fakes. There's so many people telling fake stories. Like, I barely do interviews on my channel. If I do, if I have someone on my channel, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a fucking fraud. 
Right. I mean, right, right. he's well. Yeah. No, I know. I mean, I know. He, was he trying? <laughs> okay, I wanted to ask him. I wanted to ask Fish that. Is he trying to say that? Pete the pick isn't a real guy that like he really that's not really him that he's not well, really in the pictures. I mean, come on, man. Fish, you gotta be smarter than that. That's what people do on YouTube, you know, and they question everything, which is fine, but it becomes a point of annoyance, you know, especially in this mob genre or whatever the fuck. Wow. Yeah. You know, they just question everything. I mean, and I get it because there's a lot of frauds and idiots on here, but you know, it comes to a point where it's like stop it already like right there I, first of all he's well documented obviously i mean there's plenty of evidence um not that i have to prove myself but you know you could look, look at the comments uh fishy boy no one has ever said he was a fraud oh my god actually thousands no, of people what? thousands of people watch those those videos for that simple fact even the losers on reddit like to share the video sometimes you know so right. that should tell you something fishy. Yeah, that's that's uh and then I don't know why he went after Loomis. What do you think about that Loomis? What do you think about that, bro? Yeah, about fish. Well, you got pocket sand in your throat. Oh, hold up, let me unmute you. What did you say, bro? But what do I got pocket sand on my throat? Yeah, I couldn't hear you. We couldn't hear you. You were on mute. <laughs> I had muted you, bro. I'm just what? messing with you. Go ahead. You do you mute you muted me? Because you started because you were messing with me. Yeah. I muted you. I never muted you though before. Bro, Fucker. what are you talking about, man? Jeez. No, I mean you said I muted you. I muted you, bro. Because you started breaking my balls about the guy, about the dude, oh. the awful deal. Plus, you were laughing, and I was going to start laughing too hard. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Um, what do you think about that? About um, fish. Okay, yeah. I think that um, it's deplorable when someone is actually defending you show after show and showing that, and then I get um, treated that way. Um, those are the people that if they're right next to me, I'd fucking smash them right in the face. There you go. <laughs> That's it, fish. That's what you got, bro. No, 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 no. I was being honest. I just, you know, what was that for? Unless it was just like a drunk, like, rah, you know, like they happens, but he doesn't drink like that. Who? Like fish. I don't know. What is he bipolar? And if you are, that's fine. We all have mental health issues. You know, I have mental I think, health I think issues. he just likes to get at everybody, man. Because yeah, he, he doesn't usually do that to us, though. And, nah, and, you know, he goes and, on me sometimes. We take his fucking back. We, I, listen, we took his back. A lot. And I'm just saying, like, you know, don't play that here, fish. Yeah. <laughs> Chat rule. <laughs> oh, shit. Chat rules. Bunch of Chad rules. Chad rules. Bunch of Chad Bunch rules. Of Chad rules. Of hey, yo. What's Yo, what's up, bro? Yo, what's going on, man? Go ahead, bro. You were about to say something. No, I was talking about fish. I totally forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. Listen, that's what I wanted to say real quick. What's up, Mike? What's up, Loom? What's happening? What's up? Hey, that fucking fish, bro. Listen, I've seen him do that shit to every, almost every content creator, bro, that has had that motherfucker's back that people have told him, stay away from that fucking clown. He's a fucking troll. If people treat him right, they let him on their fucking show. You you went the extra mile and fucking was they had this guy on, was showing his paperwork, had his back when people talk shit about him when he wasn't around, and that's how he fucking does you, bro. And he always wants to make the fucking excuse, oh, I was drinking. Listen, you're a fucking man, motherfucker. If you can't drink and handle yourself, stay off the fucking internet. Because I promise you, if you drink and go out in public like that and act that fucking way in public, someone's going to break your fucking jaw. So don't come on the internet and do that shit, especially with people that have your back, man, and treat you fucking right. And who the fuck are you? You're a fucking clown, bro. We've seen your paperwork. Were you to fucking uh, uh, call anybody out for being real or get the fuck out of here? But he does that shit right there. And I said something the other night. I said, man, fucking you got OG Mike and fucking Loomis. You think you have them full, but believe me, they're onto your ass, bro. Fucking coming here talking shit. He does that shit with everybody that treats him right, though. He's, he's two faced as fuck, bro, and he turns on everybody. He's just that fucking. He thinks it's funny. 
That's his problem, bro. He's like that little punk ass kid that throws something at you and takes off fucking running to their house and hides in their house behind the window, flipping you off when his mom and dad are home. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of weird. You're going to fuck with the wrong like, one, bro. They're going to put their fucking fist through that window and come in that house and snatch your ass up. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> even kind of like, I kind of even stuck up for him and like gun smoke. So I was like, everybody you know, does. Everybody, everybody, everybody does, sticks bro. up for him, bro, and he fucking turns on him, bro. I was like, I see He's him a two faced fucking OG snake. Mike. Yeah, I'm like, I seen him on Lewis and OG Mike. He showed his face. He was talking. I'm like, all right, well, this version of Fish is cool. I mean, he seems right. fine. I don't know. And then I'm like, all right, but then but then later that night, where is he going to be trolling and trying to fuck someone's shit up? It's weird. It's just like, yeah, Brent, weird. Not to cut you off, not to cut everyone off real quick. How many times, how many shows do I do this? Hey, I have his paperwork. You know, Every blah, show, blah, blah. and I laugh about it, bro. That ain't paperwork. Yeah, it's know, a fucking that's teacher's me, note. But that's me, though, being, though, like, telling people, like, hey, right. he did no do something. He's right. His right, right, like, right. He's gonna, then, then he's going to be bad. Then, he, then he's going to act like that on me. No. Yep. What did no. he go off on you about anyway, bro? What did you I don't mean? know. He called me a fucking Chad fucking cake. <laughs> what did he call you? A Chad fucking cake. A Chad cake? You mean a Chad rule? Yeah. <laughs> A Chad cake. What the fuck is a Chad cake? That's like, a Chad? I don't know. It doesn't matter. But Mark, Boy, Mark he's got, that, he's got you don't Steve. do that to people who are treating you like. Right. Yeah, he's too crazy. Like a, Chad's like a fucking a white Catholic. Uh, yeah. Boy yep. or some shit. Isn't that what they call Chad's? Yeah. He's just a fucking bitch like that, though, bro. He, you know what? He doesn't. It's weird because he's one of those guys, and he should know better too, because he grew up in a neighborhood where you'll get you'll get your ass beat for doing shit, you know, out of pocket. Where he thinks it's funny to cross the line and call people names like Chadrul. Oh, you're a fucking Chadrul. Hey, man, you don't fucking disrespect people like that. You don't even know these fucking people you're talking to out of po pocket like that, man. You're a Chadrul and shut them. You don't talk to people like that, man. Show people fucking respect. That, that Treat people how you want to be treated. Right. Hey, yeah. That's true, man. I agree though, with that. Carry yourself like a fucking man, dude. How about this, though? He comes from the generation, though, too, where... Exactly. You know, same, same to Weird. I, though. Same to you, Mark, Mark, though, that we used to be accountable for our words, but now everyone thinks they could be a tough guy behind the fucking computer screen. But at least the men, though, that came, though, from that generation, act your fucking role and act your part. Yeah. Don't go to like, these little fucking troll kitties. You know what I mean? Like, if you came up exactly. with that generation, the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. people are treating you good. Yeah, the other thing is the New York thing, and I'm from New York City, so I always stick up for New York City. But it's like these guys, like these old, like New York guys. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Fucking, fucking, I'm fucking New York. I'm from fucking Brooklyn. Yep. Yeah, you don't fucking know. It's like shut up. It's weird, I'm, bro. I'm from here too. But who cares? Like I don't care. Check your phone. Actually, it's pretty embarrassing. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Hey, Brett. I, I hey, Brett. I talk. I talked to Pete one night on that guy. Right. That guy. That guy's show, dude, a long time ago, about two years ago, it was weird. Yeah. It was weird, man. Yeah. I, 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 I got up to, I had to be at work. I had just paroled and I turned my phone on and there was a live show. And I, I didn't, I didn't know I was even subscribed to that guy. I don't even know if I was, but his show popped up and it was a live show, bro. At like fucking three in the morning and some, it, they were like in Hollywood Hills. Yeah. Right. Was Andy and Dick they had it? fucking Andy Dick was yeah. on there and, Fuck, and, and, and that, he, that was he, legendary. Dick was fucking check it out, bro. I they gave a fucking phone number out, right? And, oh, and they were shit. like, I don't know what they were doing, bro, but they were partying, they were getting it a little bit, right? And and uh they dropped the phone number. He's like, hey man, just call us and fucking, you know, you can ask. I fucking called, bro. I talked to those oh, assholes for about 45 God. minutes, bro, on the fucking phone, right? I was oh. talking to Andy Dick. Okay, it was weird, man. Yeah, dude. Wow, I can't That's believe wild. you fucking were there for that shit. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Dude Doug, that dude Doug did he oh, I just said his name, whatever. But he was like some dude with like some half ass like B level Hollywood connects. He's like a yeah. He was D list, bro. He was uh, a. <laughs> I had yeah. I had told I had told him uh, a little bit about what I had going on, and he was trying to go, bro. He was fucking like messaging me through my my yeah. my YouTube channel, trying to get me to talk to him and shit, bro. He's like, hey, I'd love to uh, you know, get your life story. I had to, bro. I told him, hey, bro, I don't fucking know you. I ain't into all that that weird old Hollywood shit, bro. I'm cool, yeah. man. But yeah, he was fucking yeah. calling me, trying to come visit my shop, all kinds of weird shit, bro. He, he was a weirdo, weird, man, and he's. Yeah, he was a weird old, dude. He's like living in an old world. He thinks it's like 1997 and shit. He's like, bro, he's like Hollywood he, connects to get this shit and exactly. put this thing together. It's like, bro, just do it on yourself, bro. Just fucking yeah, 100%. get it going. 
He's like uh, uh what's that movie with fucking uh Will Ferrell and Chris Kattan? Roxbury. <laughs> it's like Night at the Roxbury, bro. Yeah, 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 exactly. He's like mm -hmm. You know, guys like that always like pretend that they're bigger, but they always need other people to do shit for them and make shit. Yo, happen. I want, uh, and I wanted to tell Pete so bad, bro. I wanted to tell him, "Hey, what are you doing with these two fucking dickheads, bro? Get yeah. rid of these two fucking guys." <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you guys missed it. If you could, fucking Andy Dick was hanging out with Pete LaFrosio, I was talking yeah, to Andy Dio, bro. I was. Hey, he was out of his fucking mind, bro. I was yeah, telling, I, I told him some fucked up shit too. I was like, "Hey, bro, I was like, how did you get the practice for that fucking you know, movie?" He's uh, like, dude, he's, he's like molesty though. Type damn, shit. I don't the, know how the, I missed the, you on there, Marky Mark, but they might. Yeah, been, like, I was talking to him about the blow, the blowjob shit when he was doing it on on uh, like uh that Andy movie. Andy. Remember? For the record, I don't like Andy Dick or think he's cool because he was on TV. I think he's a fucking me either. Piece of I think he's, I think he's a piece of shit, bro. No, yeah, I don't like case. him. I mean, he's a fucking nut. He's a nut. But I was just giving him a hard time, bro. I was giving them dudes hard a hard time. And the only one I, I the only one I talked to uh, who was chill was Pete. He was cool. Yeah. Yeah, that dude's nuts, man. I had a whole thing with that dude. Andy, it was a trip, awesome. dude. Yeah. Dude, he tried to fucking dude. I can't even say the type of shit that this guy was like saying, you know, because it's really nuts. And um then I had he was like he was me. like yo this is the DeMayo guy and I was like who the fuck is this shit yeah. I was it was fucking strange man Andy Dix is Chad Rule <laughs> yeah. Chad cake. definitely the Chad cake hey you know what you put on the Chad cake I don't even talk about him on this show hey you know what you put on the Chad cake is he really what? man straight up yeah, dude, there's Who? a video though on the one dude. He's like, dude, he woke up the next day and he felt like, yeah, like he woke up and yeah, that's like one of fucking shit. seventy times. Oh, okay, said that, all right, yeah, he is yeah. a serial no, I, 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 Shit, he's a, yeah, hey, and that's what I was tripping on. I was, I was like, why is this? Why is this DeMayo guy around this fucking weirdo? What the fuck? And then I, I, I looked at it and I figured it out. I go, oh, okay, I see what's going on here. I realized that that dude that you had the problem with was was the issue there. He was bringing, trying to bring Peter around and blow smoke up his ass and all kinds of weird shit. I, I see what was happening. Yeah. Right. Yeah, if you oh. type in that guy's name, um, if you know his name on Google, you'll find somebody did a like an expose on him like five or six years ago. And it's got all his mug shots and shit. And then he did like this whole story of hanging out with him for the night. Um, because he's such a bizarre guy. But then like, a creep. He, got, he got hit with domestic violence in like 2022. He was like beating up his girlfriend. He's a fucking sicko, right. that dude. Then he came after oh, me. Fucking creep. Sick fuck. Yep. Gee, did, did you see when, he, when they had that, that up? That... With his teeth. He came after you? I would love that opportunity. He came out. Yeah, no, nah, just threatening me, threatening me. <laughs> so that's the guy that was saying stuff street? to you on the street. No, nah, he's fucking three thousand miles away. But oh. just like threatening me, coming on my channel, threatening me, talking shit to what? my subscribers, and then doing these these fake copyright strikes, trying to get my channel taken down and shit. You know, it's fucked up. He was almost he was almost fun. successful with that shit because I put what? up a thing of Pete. I put up a thing of Pete, right? And you know, Pete's like, yeah, what's going on? Da, da, da. And then he's got the same fucking video. So he put a copyright strike and YouTube's like, yeah, these videos sound the same. So they fucking what? took my shit down. Yeah, they took my shit down. And they were like, oh, we're going to do this. So I wrote this whole thing to YouTube and I'm like, this guy's harassing me. He's threatening me. This is not the same video. If you fucking look at it, it's not the same copyright. This is my content. So YouTube basically ended up taking my side. But I had to wait for like three weeks for my video. I was to about get to ask up. you, how long does that process take? Yeah, man? it took like two or three weeks for my video to get back. Oh, up. Man. that's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. I, I could have been worse, I guess, right? No, it could have been worse. You got lucky. This is, the, this is the type of yeah, shit. Why you, well, Brad, why your channel out of every channel out there? Because he hates me. This guy was trying to come after me. Yeah, because he I'm tries to own Pete, bro. He thinks he fucking owns Pete. He thinks he man, bought Pete's man, fucking life Pete, story or some shit. Pete. Yeah. Tell Pete to fucking shoot. Oh, I can't say that. Never mind. Gone. Well, yeah. I mean, it was that, nice that being monetized. We want to thank everybody for being here. Please subscribe. To no, our we're, doing, we're telling a story. I'm just joking. We're, we're telling hey, but that's that's story. good if if dude got away from him though. No, he's definitely far away from him. Yeah, good. <laughs> that's 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 what really counts because that dude's a far fucking away. creep, bro. Yeah, he's got another friend that uh, is Sorry, Cali, that actually does a real, a real friend. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually does have like legitimate connect. He's a legitimate dude. I looked into him, and um, he's gonna try to do something to help Pete in you know a bigger way that I could. Hopefully, he does. But I, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But we'll see. But that guy's gone. Yeah, that fucking loser's gone. Andy Dick's uh, dorm room buddy. It's Andy Dick's butt buddy, bro. Yeah, so as exactly. I seen that, I was like, whoa. <laughs> This is weird. I mean, I don't want to jump in. I want to know what the fuck this is right now. What the fuck is this shit? Eddie Dick's here too? Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. It's strange it? shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other thing you guys were talking about, the uh, lifetime parole thing with Sammy. Yeah, yeah. Sammy got, I think Sammy got lifetime parole strictly because he got off, he, you know, he, he, had, he brought those 19 murders to the table and you know, he was let out of the joint on that, you know, and uh, he went and caught another fucking case, a federal case. Yeah, and right, the feds yeah. were after that. They were like, yeah, fuck you, dude. You're lucky we're even letting you out. I mean, we're giving you lifetime parole. And he took it. He signed for that. But that's that's why. That that didn't happen after the first. hundred percent. But oh my God. Uh, he made him look bad, bro, because look at all the shit with gas pipe. And, you know, they were trying to go back on the, the dude was saying, yo, this dude's a fucking dope dealer. <laughs> like, and they ripped up gas's agreement. He he would have had a lot of appeals, you know, off yeah, of, but gas strictly off of that. And he made him look bad. Was selling dope. It. But they yeah, were exactly. saying like his information, though, was so much disinformation, no gas pipes. And even on like 60 minutes, he's like, I, I shot the kid once. Okay, I shot him fifteen times. Like I don't know if you saw that interview. Yeah, but that's that's neither here nor there, though, bro. What I'm saying is, is he was telling the truth about Sammy, and he, Sammy not only got pop, he got pop selling dope. Like that wasn't his first time, bro, around the block with selling drugs. You know what I mean? And, it, well, yeah. and he made him look bad. Yeah, real and they, bad. and that's the only reason he got out with that. And and they gave him that deal. Like construction companies, he could have lived a nice life. Exactly. You know? Agreed. Yeah, but he wanted more money. You know, when, when you get used to that type of money, bro, and you get back into that fucking mix, uh, a lot of people do that. I've been guilty of that type of shit. And you're used to a certain thing. And it's that easy to boom, 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 one, two, three. And you, yeah. you, you know, and, and you start doing you, shit. All, you, next thing you know, you're know. balls deep. That's all you know. Yeah. Right. Yep. He should have yeah, been a little smarter, though, man. He was he was yeah, real loose out there with that shit. Him, no, either. They didn't take his money from him either. It's the first time in. Right. Exactly. Heard, he made them look real bad. They did that, right. Yeah. They did that. I heard I heard that they let Phil Leonetti go into fucking Nikki Scarfo's house right there and pull a bunch of millions, three, four million out of the fucking wall, bro. He had hidden. And that was like and that was a big reason why Nikki was like, yo, you know, he hated the dude just off the rip for fucking ratty, but he's like, Oh, you want a rat and take my money, motherfucker? Yeah, that's Nikki you know? probably, uh. You can watch and the, fed, the, fed, the feds let him do it, bro. They fucking walked in there, broke those walls open, took the money, walked out with all his clothes, his duffel bag. They guarded that house. They pulled everybody out, guarded that house, let him go in there, get his shit. He took that money and walked out. That's wild. Nope. Where, I mean, you can you imagine at? the hate? You know? Where did I hear that? Yeah. Oh, bro, that's that's a known fucking fact, bro. Um, shit, where did I hear that? Not Not only did I heard it. I've read it. I don't remember exactly where I heard it, uh, but I know I've heard George Anastasia talk about it um, and a couple of those real, real heavy, heavy uh, super know-it-all Philly guys that know Phil Leonetti Thanks, God. Uh, personally. Appreciate it. Thanks, Gunsmoke. Um, really say that. You cool. never heard that, Brett? Gunsmoke. Really cool, man. No, nah, I don't know. I never heard it. I you mean, never I heard about it. that? Yeah, I believe it. 100%. Yeah, no, I, I heard uh, uh, George Anastasia. He's got a, a okay. pretty good friendship with, with Phil Leonetti. Yeah, uh, talk about That's that multiple that times. They do that, man. So, so I told that story before. Well, yeah, listen, but Mike, listen, bro. If if the feds if the feds don't let these guys handle their business like that, take what they already had, or or take care of them, who the fuck is gonna want to go and turn Who's on people and rat? Right? They gotta have some type of incentives, right? right. Look at Eli. Look at all these guys. They gave that guy what fucking a uh, hundred thousand to fix his fucking teeth. You know, just gave him the cash. They do those types of things because they want to incentivize these guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. If there's no incentivization, what the fuck are you gonna go rap for? I mean, not that it's okay. I'm just saying, you know, well, a guy that's already at time though. It's not just the right. Don't get a lot to like go back to the prison. Yeah, right, and, and, and they want they want to have something, you know. These guys, his family had a restaurant; they were doing good, right? Yeah, all they that. Were doing good there. He That's my point. And dude, here's here's what I'm saying: 
the chance that he got at life. But what people don't realize, that they, they don't want to hear this or whatever, though, it was, like, yeah, of course he was involved. He put money, but his kid, like, and he'll say it, his kid's the one, though, that was really, though, involved, though. Like, he was the main character in that. And Sammy actually did, though, do the time, though, for the kid, which is crazy. And look into it. I'm no bullshit. For his kid, Gerard. Right. No, I, I agree. We'll, yeah, we'll check this no, out. That's known known fact now. By now, I'm saying though, but uh, yeah. Well, so, only, only comment I was going to make on the money thing was so the the guy remember the guy I told you I saw at the uh, at the uh, doctor's office, Vinny Ocean, right? Vinny Palermo, aka Vinny. Uh, the Del Cavalcante. You saw him at the doctor. Del Cavalcante family, yeah. From the Del Cavalcante family, right? Did Did you hear me talking about that, Brett? Ever before? No, I missed that. That's pretty funny. So, so me and him are both at the same place to take a COVID test across from where where the surgery place is at this hospital. And you had to, at this point, you had to have a pre-op COVID test to get a, to get any surgeries done. That's how the hospitals were working. So yeah. I'm going to get like I, I had had my gallbladder taken out and they had to put a stent in there and stuff. And so because I had a gallstone stuck. And so I'm going in for that. He's going in for something else. And he's sitting like right cat corner. We're both wearing masks, so I couldn't see his face. But he had the same type of clothes he has in, on every picture you see of him, a black shirt and some slacks. And he's on speakerphone going, yeah, I got to get a fucking COVID test. He's so, you know, and he's like loud as shit. And I'm like, I look over and I'm like, damn, this dude ain't from Texas. That's for sure. And I hear him. And, and so then they're like, uh, Vincent Cabela. They call his name. And I'm like, I just first thing I did was Google it. And I'm like. Holy shit, that's Vinny Palermo. That's Vinny Ocean. And, yeah, and Ocean. it's crazy because an article had came out a year or two before that he was in Houston because uh witness protection program. The reason it came out and they outed him is when he got here, he started taking over people's businesses. He took over yep. some strip clubs, then he took over like uh, Chachos, which is like a Tex Mex <laughs> kind of right restaurant. Into it. Right Straight into it, bro. And, crazy, and, and bro. but guess what? He's you ain't in New York, bro. Right? These people though. ain't scared it's of you. Knows. Yeah, it's all he knows. That's a business. But but listen to this though. He came here with millions, bro, because he's got a mansion in uh a, a, a very you affluent know, why, neighborhood. Why don't they he's got though, six high end cars. Right. He could he could not do it. He could not do the stuff. It's it's just how he lived. But anyway, the the, the difference was he gets here and these people ain't scared of his name. He ain't got no crew, and guess what? They don't give a shit. <laughs> they brought him to court, man. And so when they did, <laughs> it made big news. It made, uh, you know, it, it was on. It, it was like in the newspaper, the little paper at the time, or whatever and stuff. It, anyway, there's articles on it online, and Jeff Nadu actually did a pretty good segment on it too, man. Talking about uh he Jeff Nadu listed every business the dude has, man. He had pulled up. In fact, he said he called, tried to talk to him. Yeah, I heard him say that. Him heard him hung him. Up. Yeah. yeah, he said he actually said hello or something <laughs> hung up on him. Oh man, I yeah, tripped uh, yeah, I got his number, bro. I've got yeah. every one of his phone numbers. <laughs> My buddy's got <laughs> access to all that kind of stuff, right? And I was like, Hey man, check this dude out, man. I just saw him at what's it called? So he sends me over all his stuff. I man, I've got his cell phone numbers, all that stuff. I'm not gonna call him. I don't give a crap. But call uh, him now. What the fuck? You know, yeah, call him live, man. We're calling call him live. right now. Hey, yeah, Vinny. This is uh, this is uh, Mike and Loomis. <laughs> Mike and hey, Loomis, Mr. you're live Ocean. on the. Air. How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing right now? Hey, remember me? I seen you. You were getting a COVID test. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah no. this is me from the COVID test, bro. No, say, hey, Mr. Soprano, you have well, a minute? Where's he at now? Well, wait, where's he at right now, Mike? He's he's still in Houston, as far as I know. I mean, no, he's, he's out. He's oh, he's out. Yeah, he didn't get fucking. Didn't oh no, man, up. he got sued, bro. You get sued here. He didn't get any time for it. He took oh, over okay. the people's shit. Oh yeah, Texas. I forgot. I forgot yeah, Texas yeah, you can do that. Place to go to if you're exactly. a gangster afterwards, though, because the laws Sammy out was there, here for a while, man. Sammy was the here laws out here, Mike, are completely. We can't. Like I told you, no hollow points here. No that bullshit. That, that can't be real, man. Nah, it's real. It's real out here too. You can't have hollow points? No. See? What is like the point live, of that? You live in like, Texas, man. 
Yeah, but because the cop, the, because the cop don't want it to be a, a free playing ground. If you're the, that type of criminal, that type of level, they want to. They don't want your bullet going through their vest. Holy they shit! They only want they only want their bullet going through your vest. Two years, Good not the other way around. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, so someone cut Mike. If someone comes in here and I pop him with a um, uh, hollow, oh, hollow point. point. Uh, they get they want to they can get they can get me in trouble uh afterwards. Are you serious, yeah, man? Yeah, they got they got a law here, yeah, bro. Every, every, for every, murder, every nothing for the murder, but for the hollow point. Yeah, <laughs> every, every hollow point's five years. Five years. <laughs> oh. Damn. Yep. Wow. So you got to wow. kill a target. So. Yeah, that's nuts, man. Then, then what? Not that people don't have them. Them. those people have them. Right, but, right, right, right. You know what I mean? I mean? We could talk about cocaine and be like, not that people don't have it. Of course, <laughs> it's not that they don't. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. that's an extra risk you run if you if you you know if you're on that type of time. Yeah, that, that, that's he's got several of them here, man. Someone's coming after me. Here's let me tell you this one of him, one of the clubs. Club. One of the clubs he was running is right next to like this a real high end like mall, the Galleria, right? And they got shut down because they got busted so many times for for like cocaine and stuff <laughs> being like like I'm talking about openly just being available all the time. That they, they finally got shut down. He got his license pulled for something there and stuff. Uh, by now, I mean who knows? I think they reapplied, but. Anyway, yeah, dude. I feel like, bro, if you got a strip club, the the cocaine should be illegal only in a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Outside the front door, it's illegal. Care, Inside the door, in the bathroom, in there is legal. I mean, no, I it's in the dispensers and shit. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's like a vending machine. Yeah, like a vending <laughs> machine. It's, it's, well, people it's know, like, you know, listen. Like people though used to, I never did it though. I'm just speaking. A lot of my friends though used to like to do lines off titties and stuff. So instead of the bathroom, they should be Right. Or off their ass. Course. You ever do an art or off their ass? I've had, I've had I've had a girls take rails off like, of me. No, just like in the beginning of what's it called? The, with the Caprio. What is that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he has a straw up her ass. Not her departed? asshole though. I yeah, I, no, I I don't go near the asshole. I'm saying no, I uh, on the ass. The fuck? We're talking about that movie. He said, keep it moving. <laughs> Pure discretion. Hey, did you see that video I sent you earlier? I'm fucking tired as fuck. I'm sorry. Loomis, man, you just drank a fucking 32 ounce monster, bro, from Germany. <laughs> no, man, he's got two quarts of monster. Shits are working. Those shits are backwards, bro. They're making you tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know that, but I've been doing a lot. Hey, did you see that time. video I sent you earlier? Are you talking Brett, to Loomis? did you see? I'm talking oh, to Loomis. Yeah, well, and Brett, what video and you. Video? That, the one with Scar the, uh, the video Scarpa Jr. did. It came out today. Was it with the proffer guy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I want to watch it. I didn't watch Check it. Check it out. It's really good, bro. It's really, really pretty it's fucking good. It looks good. I assumed it would be a lot better than phone. the other one he did recently. Text messages? Yeah, yeah, a lot, but way fucking better, bro. Yeah. It was like in studio, the, the production was nice. Yeah, I was waiting for him to do something good. So hopefully, yeah, I'm going to watch it, it probably tomorrow. And, it, and it's long it, form. Bro. Marky Mark, my nice. man. That's the last thing there, buddy. I didn't get it. All right, well, I sent it. Maybe I don't know why it didn't go through, but I did send it. Check it out, though. It's on uh, It's uh, Greg Scarpa Jr. Loomis deleted it when he picked up his phone. He What's deleted he doing? it. It's an interview. But who? Some guy, some ex cop. I don't know, but it's really good. Uh, what's his name, Brett yeah, Proffer? It's you know, like Bill, yeah. Bill, some Courtney or some shit. The Proffer some podcast. Shit. Yeah, Proffer podcast. Yeah, he's a former uh, uh, police officer, I believe. Oh, I know that name. How do I know that name? I definitely know that name. I think that's what were you going to say, Brett? He's a wrong. former what? He's a former uh, police detective or something. I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's Oh, I saw his name in like a documentary or something. Yeah, yeah. So he's got a something going on in uh, Arizona. Oh, actually, Loomis, you might like this. Well, oh, you all might like this. I don't know if you follow TJ English on Instagram, but TJ English is going to be on that show. He hasn't really done any. I haven't seen him around doing. Yeah, that I have it for a little bit for a little while though. Uh, what was I? But he's my favorite. I, I he's fantastic. TJ English is good. Yeah, he's going to be on that show too, Marky. 
my favorite non-gangster writer. Like, you know, like if a gangster writes a book, True Crimes, he's, I fucking, I like him better than Capisi, all of them. Like, yeah, straight to good. the point, dude. And it goes, he laughs still about the book, the Westies and stuff. I mean, the, the, that book alone, that was, the source was incredible. He was a taxi driver in New York City, like in the 70s and shit, like when right. it was like so grimy and fucking, you know, and then uh, when it was yeah, real New York, he, he talked to Mickey Featherstone too and stuff for that book. And uh, yeah, no, I, I like that. When I was at Pat Nee's house in Boston, uh, Pat said um, when, when what's his name was there, when TJ English was writing the, the book and uh, covering uh, Whitey's trial, he would, he's like, he would just sleep right there on Pat's couch. Is that arrested a you book, a little bit. TJ's? Yeah, it's called Where They Buried the Bodies. Is that a good one? Because I know, I mean, I like TJ English, yeah. but yeah, it is okay. I read a lot Way of, I read than, some of his books. Way better than like uh, from Shelly Murphy and Dick Lair or whatever, like the, the the Boston Globe team or whatever. No, yeah, yeah, Get, yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Paddy Whack is cool. It's just got like all like mini biographies. Oh, like, like, you ever see the documentary of that too? Like the That's movie, it's movie. awesome. Hey, I seen Brett. Brett did a fucking good video on the Westies. That one where he goes on location. That was a fucking banging ass fucking video. Have you seen that one? What was that one? Uh, the long, yeah, the Long Island. The one you did, man. Down. Yeah, the one where he went over up by the cemetery and fucking oh, down yeah. there. And uh, that was a good video, dude. I didn't. Yeah, real Thanks, good. Bro. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I like I like the way you do that shit, man. I like when you go out on location and the long form ones. I like it. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, that sure. was good. That was fucking I'm confused. Freezing, I'm dude. lost a little bit. I who who arrested me? <laughs> what? Vinny Ocean arrested you, bro. You remember? Who? Chad Cake. Chad Cake and Vinny Ocean. Remember? <laughs> no, fucking that's, fucking... Not, that's not what she's talking about. That yeah, it is. She's oh, talking about the, the London podcast guy. The podcast oh, guy was a cop. You said, who, how do I know him? She said, because he arrested okay. me. Well, that, that was like, okay, it was like 10 Oh, okay, ago. okay, I, I get it. Yeah, but I know what she's talking about. And she ain't even talking to me. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on, dude, all right? Cool. <laughs> I know you don't. I know you don't. It's all right, babe. It's all right. <laughs> You'll be all right. What is this guy talking about? Everything going to be all right. What's Jose Santana saying? Just leave Joey and Anthony alone. Yeah. Like I always, like, I always like we're fucking, like we're fucking bothering them on. Just leave, yeah. What am I? Well, how do you know he's them? saying what that to us? Though maybe he's saying that in general. Like, when what am I calling him? out? You know? I see that comment. I see that same comment on every video. Just leave them alone. What am I fucking calling <laughs> this out? Hey, hey, Anthony. <laughs> what am I at? At the fucking at the halfway house right now? Are we allowed hey, to talk about these? Uh, <laughs> oh, Frank? Are we I'm allowed to talk Island. about these uh, American uh, historical criminals, or are we not, not allowed to talk about nobody? No, no, no. <laughs> Listen, we're not bothering I'm, I'm, them in any. But my point is, though, we're not bothering them in any fucking way. No, we're bothering nobody. Yeah, Leave I'm all alone. for them getting out. I'm all for those guys getting out. They did their fucking time. That's the law. Sometimes the law puts you away. Sometimes the law lets you out. That was the law. That was their stipulations, and they fucking yeah. made it. God bless them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm pretty indifferent. Like I said, uh, government says their their uh, sentences have expired. So, hundred oh, percent. Okay, Jose, said, I'm Jose talking, right. said I'm talking about all, right, all the all right. haters, not you right. guys. No, I wasn't all trying to attack you. I just thought, I thought that's the way you were coming because I've seen other people we like break falls stop here talking too, about them. Leave them alone. Yeah. Oh, I, we when we did it a while back. There was people saying that tripping out. And we were like, "Yeah, I remember." On the show, yeah. talking, man, relax, bro. We're wow, bro, that, I wasn't coming at you. Yeah, our fault. People and their fucking opinions. Yeah, sometimes it's too much. I remember that when you guys did that show. I was like, "Whoa, which one?" Yeah, the one with you guys were talking about the the, the Gemini twins. And people right. were wigging, dude. Oh, bitch, like, how can you say that? How can you? You know, it's like, oh, dude, yeah. relax, bro. Yeah, exactly, dude. Exactly. People, people uh, flip out from that shit. It's like turn the channel off, man. Shit. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, you, I know. No, good, like, there's a million other. There's a million other platforms. Yeah, people forget like what these guys did and like their place in like criminal history is like you know interesting. So it's like I don't know. I started thinking like, do you guys think like like those guys in the mob like in the seventies, sixties, seventies, eighties, whatever it may be. More so like 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, 
Do you think like there's a comparison to like, do you think like they'll become like the new, um, the new Cowboys in a sense, like the Western dudes? You ever thought about that? Like yeah, same shirt, game. different toilet, though. You know what I mean? Yes, 100%, bro. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. And I know what you mean. I know the com- I get the comparison, 100%. And it goes according to law and, and, and the times. You know what I mean? They're right. they're doing what the, the bordering the law at that for that particular time. Right, you right, know? right. Because I try to look at it like that. Like, oh, right, we could talk about fucking Jesse James, Billy the Kid, right? But we can't talk about Anthony Center and Joey. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, yeah, but, like yeah, that, you got to look at it like that. Like, they're them. just like the modern day outlaws in a sense. Yeah, right. exactly. So why can't we? We can't talk about them. Right. So if anyone, and I'll be honest with you, who's going to offend it? They can go fuck out. Um. A lot of times, too, with crime and you doing shit, you grew up in an area. I can speak for myself. Um, the type of area you grew up in and the people you grew up around and they're doing these types of things. Some of them are robbing banks. Some of them are robbing armored trucks. Some of them are selling dope. Some of them are doing a little bit of everything. Some of them are doing murders. Some of them are you know, selling dope in the projects. And you grow up around that shit, and that's really – you go that way, and that's all you know. And when you're doing the shit, and, like, they say they might have had a bad teacher. depends on who's looking at it. And you're doing those kind of things. It's not really nothing out of the ordinary for you, and it's normal. And sometimes when people say, like, oh, that's crazy, you don't look at it like that's that's just part of your everyday grind, bro. That's just what you do. You know what I mean? And it interests some people, and it is history. And, um, you know, everybody's got a different opinion on it, but – you know, it is what it is at the it end of the day. What it is. Yeah, as long as you're not coming on here, like, making up shit and, you know, just, like... Fucking facts, bro. You know, just talking shit. Opinion, you know, you throw your opinion in there. And you just good, talk about some shit. Yeah, man. I'm chilling, what? dude. Well, well that's why you have shows so, like yours and you guys and shows that's like man. the other ones, though. Yeah. You know, I'd rather I'd rather not be lied to. Told a bunch of bullshit. Right. Hell There's yeah. some bad stuff on going on, man. It's pretty funny. On this uh, corner of YouTube. <clears throat> yeah, what's going on yeah. now? Nah, it's just always. It's just always something, man. It's just always, uh, always I don't a new get it story. Either, you know, always a new character coming up. <laughs> Why do people get so worked up? I don't like, know, is I don't it just know. because they're like it's just like the troll dudes, man? What do what are they just like so like hate their lives that they just get on and say stupid shit? I mean, is that uh, what it is? Or like well, it's got a fucking email from one of them. Well, they try you to did? go to communities and they try yeah, to co-opt the now. community, and that's what they do. You're lying, dude. This no, I I mean, like I believe you, but I'm just saying somebody really just just an email. I loved your show because you had no wrenches. I'm done with it. They left because we have no wrenches? No, no because we do. have wrenches. They used to like it because we used to not have wrenches. Are you uh, serious? They like, they like the chaos. Mike, you know who it is. Jesus. Are you serious? You're talking yeah. about the, the, the guy that was causing all the stuff, Jetty, because of that? Yeah, what guy causes all this stuff? Send me a text, and man, if you don't want me, to, didn't say who it was. I don't care. No, oh, fish. Man, it's got to be fish. He's the biggest. Why would, fucking... why would somebody want chaos, man? What? The... Jeez, man. They they, they, they want to be able to fucking start shit and, and talk all that shit without being timed out or blocked. Yeah. Well, you know. All right, bro. Peace out, man. To tell fitness after 60, we said what's up and we're not taking our shirts. Oh, no, not fish. Oh, man, what are we going to do without him around oh, the show? Fitness? Fuck. Is it fitness? Girl. Did you say fitness? Yeah. That's no, that's the fitness. dude we already talked. Were you here Mike, when we tossed him? Mike, check no, your but Mike, he's check a, he's, thing he's now. He's another a legend, one. too. That, he's a real another legend, one. too, that fucking guy. Read that. Yep. Fitness after 60. Yeah, well, let me yeah. see how many push ups you can do. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere he goes, how many push ups you can get? Right. I mean, you know how some people make politics their identity? This guy made fucking push ups his identity. <laughs> fucking dips, dips and push ups. Okay, that's a good one, man. To say, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. I Brent, I blow where, did you crazy. actually see the show where we where we tossed fitness? No, I wish I did. 
Oh, geez, man. So he comes on, man. That's First, he I starts trying to troll me. First, he's trolling me, right? First, but okay, at this point, he didn't even know what type of action I got. Like, I hadn't shown my self defense video about my breakaway pants or anything. Oh, no, like Carmine, that. So this was from earlier. Baki sand, and then I see. No, it's all good. It's all good, Carmine. This is it's all yeah, good this now, Carmine. This was way You're good. Straight up. Okay, so. So this dude had no idea that I had breakaway pants and all that. But so he comes on <laughs> trying to trying to troll about uh boxing with me. He's like telling me about boxing. I'm not dude, I don't have to prove what boxing I know or whatever. I don't care if anybody thinks I know about boxing or not. I don't give a shit, man. I I left boxing years ago cuz of politics and crap like that. So I don't care. So we're on here talking about it. I'm like, "Listen, I ain't telling you nothing." He's trying to question me. And so then Loomis starts talking with him, and they they almost get challenged into a fight. They're going to fight somewhere, right? So Loomis, <laughs> fitness after 60, are going to meet up somewhere and fight. Then the dude starts telling him to do push-ups live on air. Then he tells him that an old – Loomis showed a photo <laughs> that he had, like, with, with no shirt on or something, right? And, and like, we started getting donations all of a sudden. So I was like, dude, oh, keep it up, bro. This is our, like, Shut this up. is our bread and butter, man. We're going to make money off of our Pippin and Loomis out on the beer. <laughs> so then, then all of a sudden, the dude's like, well, take your shirt off now, man. That's not really you. And I'm like, bro, if you take your shirt off live on this air you might for that guy's the fact that you even think that that even crossed my I, mind. It's not that. I had to say it, though. I had to make the statement. I had faith in you. Yeah. Bro. But I, I had to make the statement that we can't do We're not doing that. It's not happening, bro. And it, 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 that, it, what what happened from there, man? We ended up tossing him out. We're like, dude, man, we're not. Same. He's, he's the same type of person you. as fish, bro. It's the same shit. Oh, he he will come in and be cool with you, and then they don't, he'll flip on you. Yeah, that he's the same thing. Worse. He's the same thing. Oh, nope. he was worse. We got fish then I went and watch this video. Uh, this guy, oh. Man Shark. I, nope. I, I almost cried, dude, because I felt bad. <laughs> oh, for I know. Him. His videos are hilarious, bro. Oh man, he's got. He he kept telling us, "I bet you can't get up from the ground without yeah. using your hands and all this." And I know what he's talking about. That has to do with. Oh, I did it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my, oh, my dude, remember I, I did, did it. that at two hundred eighty pounds, bro. That's not impressive, man. No, but I mean, I did Jeez. it on that episode. Yeah, but but then I looked at the video. Oh, you looked at the videos. I watched his video. Yeah, he's a fucking that. geek, bro. He's a fucking straight he, geek. This guy's uh. got no body fat. He should be able to do that easy. He pops Easy, up, bro. he's wobbling around, and I was like, "Oh man, this is sad, dude." I've been now I feel bad. But look at this I, place; it's one thousand percent more lenient than most channels. If you get timed out here, oh, you for real, it. <laughs> for real, man, for real, yeah. man. Yeah, it's hard to get timed out here. Yeah, it's hard to get yeah, shelved. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to thank Loomis to go shirtless for one day. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> one day, get the fuck out of here <laughs> not even in the oh, summer my man shit. oh man but anyway yeah that dude got tossed man so yeah, yeah he's a weirdo anyway fuck him yeah fucking the ball weirdos straight up i've seen i've seen a fish the other night bro uh he was in gun smokes so at like fucking two in the morning trolling the fuck out of gun smoke uh and then coming in under sock accounts having a conversation with himself as i mean just weird shit man like that's fucking that's that's over the hill yeah you know, trolling think, talking oh, to yourself as a second person you know on a different account that's fucking weird man and then you got gun spoke dude dude's cool as hell lets people come on there say whatever lets people on the show like we do I've never seen him go off on people for no reason or whatever. He's he's, he's running a good show, man. Oh, he's fun. great. Gun smoke. Who he's goes too on nice. there and does that shit? Who he's goes on man. that dude's channel and does that, man? What a... That's what I said, dude. That's exactly what I said that night. I go, dude, you let this fucking guy come in here and, and talk to you like that and do this shit. You give him all the chances. Uh, you know, uh, the people that are good to him, he does that shit to him. Right. You know? Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> that's lame dude okay okay there, there, there's there's rules to a degree and there is parameters and at a certain point it's like man come on man what maybe maybe had too much wine dude i don't know man shout out to know. joey cap what's up joey cap just hitting me up he's like it'd be funny if the show though got interrupted because i was hitting you up 
He goes, dude, Mike, he goes, it's just Joey Capozillo. Great dude, fuck, big dude. He's like, dude, I'm having the best night ever, bro. This is fucking the coolest shit ever, dude. Thanks, oh, Joe. Nice. <laughs> like, Thanks for tuning in, bro. Appreciate it, man. For yeah, real. yeah, for, for real. real. <laughs> we enjoy <laughs> having you here, man. I wish he's all the way out in fucking on. He's not out. He's not even. Where's he at? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys probably missed some real legends. I think Marky Mark's been around for a minute. There's they some legends that were here before those two fucking morons. I mean, they were really going even harder. I mean, there's been some real like characters in that mob two shit. Yeah, there's been a lot of characters. I, I think I watched them from afar, man. Because, because see, I I watched a lot of these dudes. Like I didn't never get yeah, on Mike, here. I was gonna say, Joe, go ahead, Mike. No, no, no. I was gonna. <laughs> the only thing I was gonna say. <laughs> I used to watch from afar, right? Yeah. <laughs> what you say about lost? No, Lewis was going to leave that talking. comment up all night. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. All right. Frank, you want to come over and run the fucking show? He's buff. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> no, bro. What I was going to say is I watched it from afar. I never really got oh, much in the comment or coming on any shows or anything. You know what I mean? Right, but like, right. I watched a lot of those dudes that started off like say three years ago when a lot yes. of mob two people started. And so I saw a lot of those dudes and I saw your show talking with the dude about a lot of them that disappeared. And that, that's that uh, green. That. Yeah. Yeah. What was so, Vinny Greens, so, the I like the dude, uh, yeah. Like Green. the dude, the people that passed away, what happened with like the Bofa dude, man? Oh yeah. I don't know. Um, I have no idea what happened. I don't know how that guy passed away. I just remember, um, him. and I don't know who he is. I don't know. He was a troll too. He was kind of like a fish character where people were cool with him, and then he would troll, and then people hated him, and then people were cool with him. He was the and then he get your too. show shut down and struck. He'd say some shit on your show at that time uh, when that wow. sickness was going around in 2020, or he would say some like anti semite type shit and get your <laughs> shit, and then report it. Yeah, yeah he was fucked up. Right, let's, let's Damn, that's back. diabolical. Can we go back? On yeah, he was. He was like five B chess, bro. No, yeah. just because some people, up? the guy who's too want to talk about the top. Yeah, hit it. Just let's go. Because the trolls it. want yeah, us talking the about them. Where's the so comment? About fuck the trolls because they want us talking about them. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, let's roll. Come on. What do you got? So, um, going back up to uh, some questions. Joe Masella now. Let's talk about that. Carmine S. Bay Joe Masella. I found out in the newspapers. He was a nice guy too. A little nuts. He would stop talking at times. You guys know Joe Masella? I'm not familiar with Joe Masella. Don't know him. If he is was he with the Cavalcante dudes also? Was Carmine? Oh, was that what it was? Those, he was talking about those talking about? Cavalcante guys, yeah. Was he at the dentist too? I didn't see him, man. I didn't see <laughs> myself, man. Shit. I was tripping on that guy. I was like, damn. That's funny, though. No, that's really funny, man. Outside the crazy stuff, the neighborhood didn't look at those guys as all that bad. Exactly. History judges them harder, actually. Yeah. 100%. I think guys like Capici and guys like that add to those guys' mystique and maybe put a little bit, you know, not change it but add a little bit more to it like i seen brett doing one of his shows that uh you know the gemini twins that actual term probably came from capici that wasn't like fucking what they were known as nice. you know? thank you right yeah i was, I was, yeah, like, yeah, was like, like, yeah i think they yeah you guys played that at the beginning right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Why do I hear Sammy's fucking voice? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I heard it oh before that even. <laughs> That's actually Brett, isn't it? Yeah, bro. Sammy. Bro, no, no. I mean, he's. I mean, I mean it's not that. Oh my god! My name, video, bro. Mike. No, no, no. I don't have it, bro. I don't, what, no, yeah, he's I don't doing the that, voice. Man. He's got it. He's Do got it again. It. Oh my god. Oh man, he's <laughs> you know what he does? Yo, you ever hear him? Sometimes he does like uh, he sounds like a woman when he he goes, "Oh my god!" Oh my <laughs> no, god. I didn't yeah. see him do that one. 
I hey, like listen. I got like 10 of them. All bullshit aside, Brett, Brett has by far the best impressions, bro. Have you heard of <laughs> Patrick, Patrick, oh, Bet David? Back. Holy fuck. No, no, you got to do Bet David. Do it. <laughs> Bro, this guy fucking has the best it. trio let impression. Let him do it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I can, it's fucking late. I don't know if I can pull out the PBD, but I'll try. Do the, yeah, come on, do the PBD. Oh, man. Hold like like 10 seconds of it. Um, Fuck. I'm on the Sorry, spot. Brett. <laughs> no, no, I actually no, have I'll a cigar, too. So you I'm got a stick? PBD you got a stick, huh? Did the stick dip? <laughs> got a fucking stick, yeah. I got a stick. It's a real you got a stick, right? Stick. Here. You take pictures with it and post them on Instagram. You better not. Is it a sherm stick? Does he post your shows on Instagram? No, I do. Do do PBD. Hold on. You're getting a character, man. Oh, man. All right, just keep talking. I'll, I'll fucking bust it out in a minute. I just gotta like. I know. I, I that's how I do with voices. It takes me a minute. I have to get. I can't. Do yeah, it. you gotta get in. The, you gotta. You gotta yeah, yeah. You gotta build up to it. He's over there hitting that sherm stick too. Yeah, I got it. But yeah, he has this fucking trio impression too. And that was the first time the other day he busted that shit. That shit was hilarious. Do you guys know Danny Trio? Yeah, do you guys know who Danny Trio is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Leekopedia is the ex partner. Yeah. Now we're going back to the trolleys again. All right. It got to be spontaneous. What's the dog girl crying? Oh, yeah, it's got to be spontaneous. Getting the voice, I get it. I get that. Yeah, my bad, Brett. But that, 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 yeah, that. they got they got to <laughs> hear that shit, bro. That shit's dead ass accurate. Yeah, I'll probably fuck it up and it'll sound so. I bad. can't even remember his voice right now, and I just saw a thing of another mm. day talking. You don't, about. Yeah, you don't overthink it. You just do it, like you know. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me take my stick out of my mouth. Two Trent Danny Trio too, shit. Danny Trio, <laughs> nah, that fucks up my voice. That Danny bitch. Trio. <laughs> I go on Westbrook to play the real clips of that shit. Ah, uh, shit was nah, fucking funny. Dude. Danny Trio, what was he like? What did he say that one time? He was at Gargiulo's and he saw it senior. <laughs> that's, a, that's a restaurant in Brooklyn for those who don't know. Yeah. God, you love it. Yeah. And I told him, I said, You look spectacular and beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, he acknowledged me. I was, like, God, Julos? I was at God Julos. <laughs> Some shit like that. I was at God Julos. What you want to hear about that for, Jack? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that guy's fucking nuts, man. I wish he would come back. Julos. Eating yeah, so did I. I thought he'd come back for fucking Lee's farewell show. Man, yeah, I'm yeah, surprised yeah. that dude disappeared, man. But he's got a bunch of deals. He's fucking right now, he's in a shower in someone's house wearing underwear of the of the women jerking <laughs> up. <laughs> Unbelievable. Maybe PBD. Oh, that's what he does. He beats his balls inside fucking uh, people's homes. Yeah. Like, you know, Sunrise. That's what he does. Weirdo. Wait, wait, Weirdo. what does he do? He beats his balls inside their shower, like while he's wearing like panties and stuff like that. He jerks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He takes a shower and then he leaves with their their fucking clothes. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He beats his balls their panties. Too. The wash and wear burglar. Yep. Yeah, wash and wear. He doesn't just uh, like take their clothes. Shit made you. That shit made you. Shit made you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the sexual. What if PBD interviewed Danny Trio? That'd be fucking legendary. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> What a fucking character. Uh, yeah, there's been a shit ton of those those guys, man. That, uh, Danny Trejo was a badass, man. He was like, you know, tough like tough boxer in prison, got out. Yeah, fucking, right. Uh, raging, yeah, yeah. Raging, raging heroin addict and then got clean. And um, yeah. I think his first big role was Heat. Oh, Trejo. Well, yeah, Danny Trejo, not Trejo. Oh, Trejo, <laughs> yeah, not Trejo. Yeah, Danny, Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo. This whole time? No, I hope not. No, he said the Washington burglar said he beats off oh, of people's okay. fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay, okay. But that was a, that was a, a, a oh, crazy switch. I after wrote I Danny Trejo in the comments, so I was like talking to him. Sorry. Okay. Oh, I got a pistol about drinking everything. What? Trio, yeah, everyone knows PBD. 
That dude Jim, Jim runs Bain. a whole. He's probably watching the show, man. The dude runs like. Yeah, he like, does. You're right. Mm -hmm. he, he he runs like five uh, YouTube, huge YouTube. Uh, no, Facebook. Groups. Facebook. That's what I'm saying. Facebook mob yep. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never seen them, but I heard about them. Yeah, yeah, I joined. A I left all those groups. I'm in one of them yeah, right too. now again, but I left most oh, of them. Shit. They're a weird season. And he he fucking runs them, huh? Oh man, it's fanboy yeah. action, bro. Wow, serious fanboy. I heard. Uh, I heard uh, old Frank Fiordolino goes up there and gives him fucking hell, though. Does he really? Yeah. How's he in them? Yeah. They're all private, dude. Does he come up with like... Well, he got, he got, he gets invited, and then he fucking just gives him hell, and I guess he gets the boot. <laughs> I don't want no rats in here. <laughs> I don't want no fucking rats in my Facebook group, cocksucker. <laughs> what, about, what, about, what about your ex-wife, Rosalie? <laughs> She's a whore. Oh, yeah, man. That was wild. Holy bitch! <laughs> I've never met that fucking woman in my life. A hundred percent. Oh man! That's Dang. all he was saying. A hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hell yeah! Fuck. Jeez, man. But I mean, how does somebody like if he really didn't do all this stuff and everything else? How do they think they're gonna come on here, man, and front and act like that, and like nobody's gonna see him or call him out? Unbelievable. Uh, uh, medication, I mean, maybe. I, or, or it's just, you know, he's like, fuck it. I got a certain amount of time. When I get caught, I'm caught. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, because I really think nobody's going to. always go back to Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. People are that fucking naive that they think they can get away with this shit. But like, did nobody's going to look on there and nobody's going to see it. It's like, yeah. I just don't get it, man. I, I, I don't. That, why? Yeah. What do you, you know? You know, I think sometimes too with, with those uh, those cats from that that are a little bit older, they don't understand like everybody is gonna see the shit. You know, people from those neighborhoods are actually watching this shit. Yeah, yeah. And somebody knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Always, no matter where the fuck you're at. Exactly. Right. Fucking crazy. Right. I don't think they really kept capture the 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 weight of that. <laughs> Well, yeah, someone you know said it before. Is? Like MobTube has like a sixty-year-old problem. Like everybody 100%. that's nuts, everyone that's nuts is like around sixty years old in this fucking yeah. genre. Well, it's crazy. On, on those uh, Facebook uh, uh, mob channels that he has, man, dude, let me tell you something, man. Those people—they play like, mafia over there, aren't? Oh, they think he's like Don Corleone, bro. They're over there. Get the like, fuck. Uh, what do they do? Oh, they're over there <laughs> jocking <laughs> him and like. That's what Frank said. And, Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Father oh, Danny's man. here. Father, thank but, you, oh, Father man, Danny. Thank, I thank you for letting me grace the page. Thank I, you, uh, Isn't Danny. it funny though how you can go from fucking YouTube and he's found out over here and caught, but you can go over to Facebook and nobody knows. They have no fucking crazy. It's wild. Most of them are nobody probably knows. like just a bunch of like scrubs that like are like so stoked that they they can post pictures of John Gotti's suit on there that. Uh, you know, and yeah. light. Oh, they're probably yeah. like a lot of overseas guys too, and shit like that, huh? Yeah, that's oh, right. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Boxing's like that too. Oh my god, right. man! Don't even boxing. Like, oh god, man! Those people are nuts, man. I don't, I don't comment, man, at all on on Facebook pages and stuff. People Facebook are, sucks. Smart. Oh, they're idiots. Very man. smart. Facebook sucks. You that's smart, bro. To, to to know, yeah, you're just like, hey, why am I gonna even get involved? I ain't even start this shit oh. right here, bro. It's yeah. all, every post on those pages is a troll post. It's like, hey, here's Holyfield, uh, and it'll be like, look what he looked like in 1989, and look what he looked like in uh, 95. Man, steroids, and then it's all just to yeah, spark yeah, a yeah. list look of, at the size of his head. Of yeah, oh man, look at it, man. Uh, look at, this, look at the bulge in his pants. Jaw, like it was smaller back yeah. then. Right. And that's it literally <laughs> what every one of them is. That's yeah, wild. These people just go back and forth. Well, Tyson was on shit too. This guy was on shit too. It's like, who gives a damn, bro? What 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 are y'all doing, man? And then you have know. one guy there. He's all the way natural. I know it. And uh, you know, and it's both teams just going. It's like super geeks, bro. Big time. Super bro. geeks. Been in but that just goes to man. show you it's every community is infected with yeah. Oh yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. 
Hey, so uh, fucking Brett, bro. Brett had had done a lot of a uh, lot of shows, like uh, specifically on the Gemini, and, and when those guys went uh, even into the Lucchese, a couple hits those guys. I didn't know none of that shit, man. Yeah, I had no yeah, idea. They, I didn't know nothing going. about none of those rut, those fucking gas scam, fucking uh, wiping those guys. I had no idea that those guys were involved in those hits. Yeah, they killed a mm-hmm. Russian, Vladimir Reznikov. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, Carmine. I talked to Billy. Billy's a great guy. I will. Uh, I'll definitely reach out, though. Yeah, Billy's Billy. a nice guy. He's very nice. Yeah, guy. he is. I like. Him, man. Yeah, I'll, Mike, I we'll do. talk I like, to him. I do like Billy, man. Joe Town Mike, Jack Brett. Mike, well, he's anytime, bro. Yeah. But his father. Dude, his I, I'd love to, man. I think he's a good dude. His father was a tough son of a bitch. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, he was. Wild Bill. Yeah. Yeah, he was, man. That and, and that's a really sad. Uh, his whole but story, I mean, like, man. Not everything like that was too, not Oh yeah, no, Nash, he's an old school, he, real deal he, guy. The old school, tough guy. Right, and, and you know what, man? Uh, listen to his story and about how, like, those dudes came, like, looking for money after after he disappeared. The guys coming to his house looking for money, you know, know. and sounds great, yeah. Oh man, that was sick, dude. That was sickening, man. It just scumbags, dude. Yeah. That, that, hey, Brett, I'm gonna ask you something, man. Yeah, and sure. just your opinion. Just your opinion. I'm trying to really, really yeah. You yeah. know what? Maybe I want to ask. I just uh, I see uh, you know uh, Jimmy Calandra always, not always, but lately, a lot lately, he's always doing this shit where he's uh, posting like he's gonna do live shows all the time, right? They're coming, making a comeback, right? Did he bail out again on his latest one? <laughs> Bro, that's like the fucking, it's like, yo, is this dude on fucking drugs? What's his fucking deal? He's got a fucking chat. Not that I like him. I don't fuck with this show at all. But right. you see it, and you got all these fucking people, and they're making, yo, Jamie, can't wait for you to yes. come. I mean, this guy does this shit like three times a month, bro. Yes, I noticed Like, that. what are you, uh, bro, are you, trolling, are you trolling your own fucking chat, bro? Like, what are you, are you trying to, like, piss these he people off? It's fucking bizarre, right, bro. Time. Yeah, one time he had a lot of heads in there, and he just kept playing his new yeah. intro, like, five times in a row, and then he signed off. Bro, it's so fucking weird, dude. Yeah, I don't know what that's well, about. He, he came on the other day, dude, and you know what? threatened that one guy. He said he was showing up at his place, and he's going to get him, man. Like, straight up. <laughs> that's <laughs> smart. That's I swear, smart. man, you think I'm lying. Dead, dead. No, that's not fucking, saying, though, like, oh, okay, like, okay. Like, <laughs> like I thought that I thought that these guys, like he was supposedly bad dab. Aren't you a little bit smarter than a criminal? Than oh that? no, he yeah, 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 yeah. Com- com- said, complete fucking up. complete yeah. bozo yeah. shit, dude. Wow, he comes dude. out of nowhere, pops up talking about he's gonna go kill somebody. He's <laughs> good. I think he's got issues, bro. bro. Yeah, yeah. guys got some issues. Gonna kill somebody, Jimmy. Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he just pops up random. Yeah, he pop, yeah, well, you know what? He pops <laughs> up. Yeah, guys, guys are garbage cans. You, you know, know what? what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I saw that. He was sitting in his car, and he's like, you know <laughs> what? He's like, I'm going to come and see you then. So he he was talking <laughs> about, like, it. You got he it. was going to go to Rhode Island and knock on his fucking door. And he's like, now we'll yeah, see what I'm going to come to your front door. He's like, are you really going to do that, man? I'm fucking do that. <laughs> yeah, Because this way, so you always know, at least he's a bunch of garbage cans, though. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, but he does that shit, dude, where he fucking he posts a live like the day before or early in the morning that he's coming on at 12 and then it goes to two, then it goes to four, then it's fucking see ya, you know, and never he does yeah. that shit four or five times a month, maybe once a week. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's just fucking extremely weird, bro. I mean, as a content creator, you know, what's your fucking angle, bro? Are you trying it's to like just angle, right? lose? Yeah, yeah. What are you? Tr- I mean, don't even do it at all, bro, till you're ready. Yeah, maybe he's waiting for that special number to show up in the chat. I don't know. Goes live. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? Got, I think he got like fucked up over what happened and like all the shit. Like when people were calling about that, he's doing it and he's running his thing and he's looking in there to see, like, oh, okay, people are going to be in there. And then he just stops, like when it's the time, and he's trying to work himself up. Yeah, but that's ridiculous, one. man. Know, you know, if you come you on, your chat. If you, no matter who you are, your people are gonna show up, or people that fuck you and just want to, you know, exactly. see no, what exactly. the fuck you're saying are gonna show up. You know what? I'm just telling you though what I think he's doing. Hey, hey, man, yeah, sh- fucking shit's man, crazy have, to me. Have you seen the shirts? The shirts that uh, Rob has, man, that you can buy on his on his videos about Flandra. <laughs> Have you seen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy crap! Oh, yeah. Don't be a don't be a Jimmy. (laughs) 
Holy man. I mean, anyway. don't be a Rob either. No offense. Yeah, well, you don't want to be anything like that. Bro. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Damn, those are. I, I don't think I'd. Jeez, uh, man, I'm surprised he hadn't said anything about him. Yeah, they had a he big beef. That was pretty good. They did, but but has he said he didn't say he was going to his house? He's like he's a loser, you know. He's gonna be. He's on fucking drugs. He's a loser. He's a garbage pal. So you know what? <laughs> and it's just back and forth. It's, it's, crazy. it's then he went at FBS. He went at FBS. Then he went at this guy and every fucking show. Oh, did he, he was, start having problems with him? He got sucked into the whole. Oh, genre. bro, he, he fucking went out. He got. He went at it with everybody, man. Wait, who I are mean, y'all talking about? Rob Rosso. Rosso. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He loved. He, yeah. he came still, out. Let me tell you, though, man. That's my buddy. Man. Two ate him That's up, my bro. buddy. That's what happened. You know, I hate to say it, but the, I think well, that I played That's, into a little yeah. bit of it. Rob's a very good friend of the channel. That's no, that's, that's fine, my but. But I think that played say. a little bit into it. Like he started fucking going into the the mob two spiral and stuff. Right, right, right. Because see, he was in. He had all those mob stories, right? So, right. so he did. He got it. He he kind of played into it. And, and I'm telling you this because he said it publicly and everything else. Well, that's smart. He falls into that stuff easy because he likes it. He loves to go at it with somebody. If right. if, if you want to if you want to go at it with him. Like it, and but he has to be in the mindset to do that. He he took down all this stuff he had about Lee. I'll say that right. He said okay. it publicly. I, I he goes, man, when I'm when my head's not right, I fall into that stuff easy. And right. he, and he went hard on Lee, man. Holy crap! He was, I was rolling because because not because I have something personal against Lee. I just laughed. He got mad. okay. Lee got mad at us because we laughed when he said stuff about Lee on here, right? And so right. Lee got pissed yeah, off. We, at us. Yeah, but we suffocated Lee though, man. Uh, during the Sammy time with the Barney, remember that was <laughs> right. great. Right, we we go hard in the paint too, man. But but he 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 got bad at us, man, because we started laughing when he was on here saying stuff. Man, he called Lee a chomo when I laughed. I said he could have called Mike a chomo. I would have laughed. Like, <laughs> that's just the way he said it, right? You know. But anyway, man, that's all. That's all I was saying. That is, did 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 he listen, man? That guy. He likes that kind of stuff if he's in the mood for it, man. So that's yeah. counterproductive as fuck, my boy. Honestly, for a for a convict, for anybody, but for a convict, uh, let alone a convict trying to run a channel, you're trying to make a, make a you know some type of moves on YouTube and make some money and make shit right, bro. That's just counterproductive as fuck. It is, in my, and opinion. Figured, in, in and my he... opinion, my boy. Like, and it's a bad look, bro. Like as a convict carrying yourself like that, honestly, dude. Like, sh- I don't. Know, that shit don't impress he's me, bro. He's a different dude, though. He is a, He's very different. Right. But but here I'll tell you why I'll, I'll tell you why because he's an addict, bro, and he does the addict behaviors, and, tell you and that. that's hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. He'll tell you that. He'll <laughs> own it. He'll own that, and he'll tell you that he's not right. He will tell you that, man. You know it's what I'm saying? He would talk, Carmine. I doubt it. But thank you for that info. So I, don't, I hate to see anybody fuck up, man. Unless you deserve it. You know, like we were talking about that the other night, Loomis. Yeah, no, I, I'm a comeback story guy. I like seeing people like, you know, if they fuck up and like they just come back from nothing or like people who always are counted out in life. I want to see them fucking kill. Right. Them. That's why you have to do an unblock episode, unblock live. You got to unblock fitness, unblock fish and let, it fucking, <laughs> let the redemption. <laughs> Nobody's blocked. Nobody's blocked, actually. Oh, no one's blocked? I thought you blocked fitness. No, fitness is dead. We just kicked done. him off for a. We just kicked him off for a show or so. Well, that's all oh, you just gave him. You gave him the proverbial I verbal. Like, no, I think it was a verbal thing. Yeah. You yeah, give him a thirty have, second. Give him a thirty clock. second rest. That's that high intensity training, you know. Yeah, yeah, thirty seconds. Drop set. You, you do that fucking rest. I didn't put it. <laughs> the funny he told thing me is, I was on steroids too, Mark. He told you that. Yeah. Oh, I do the fuck. I do stripping. Told you on Didn't steroids. he tried to come back while while he was in his temporary block? Not even he big. tried to come back with a fake name and 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 <laughs> ask the same stuff and act like he was somebody different. Like, dude, come yeah, on. Yeah, that's dude. that's that's wild. No, I know karma. I, I believe you one hundred percent. I believe you. 
sometimes I might just come off like, oh man, I wonder if he'll come out. But no, that's just me, man. Like I, I was being dead serious. But so he just got out. Who? The Bath Out crew. Uh, Fabrizio. Oh yeah. Fabrizio. Fabrizio. What's his first name again? He Fabrizio. Was one of them, no, that was on, on the porch with the lady, right? No. No, Fabrizio wasn't. That was Tommy uh, Reynolds and Jimmy Reynolds. and uh, Chris Pacello. Oh, well, then good for good for Fabrizio. Yeah, he had nothing to do with that. Nice. So he wasn't there at all with that, huh? No. Yeah, I don't know. No. I don't know. All he's he's the only one made, though, with those guys. Out of all those guys. Right. Really? Nope. I thought the only one that was going to get made was the one that got, ended up getting killed for touching, uh, what's his name? The yeah, he got boss. killed. He didn't get made. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying though, your Fabrizio got made. Yeah, yeah, he's the only one that got made. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I guess that would be out of all those guys. Those guys were fucking uh, out of their fucking minds, bro. Yeah, yeah. they had, like with drugs, all that type of shit. Like, yeah, they were just yeah. They they had bad. Those guys had bad schooling, bro. I think they were under Joe Benanti. Those that particular group of kids, and they weren't they weren't being taught brought up right. So, from the back crew is out on so was, wasn't uh, uh, I got Rob Jean. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Didn't uh what's his name? Uh didn't uh Calamandria uh <laughs> Calamandria didn't he do <laughs> a Sammy thing? Says I'm that. not I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry. <laughs> you did it, Sammy. No, no that's how Sammy said it. Oh, Sammy. You he made a joke. Real, a real good friend, Jimmy Calamandria. Calamandria. <laughs> oh bro you should have heard you should have heard what, what sammy said today bro he said some fuck he tried to say somersault like a somersault yeah oh my god bro he butchered that word fucking so say? bad say? Some I, fuck you, I, I, some fucking, uh, I can't even i don't even remember bro it was it, it made my mind do a somersault though it was fucking hilarious <laughs> got in a summer fest or some shit i don't know <laughs> A summer fall. <laughs> yeah, summer fall. Some fuck that Thank shit. You, Johnny. Appreciate that. More you <laughs> what, were, what, were you, what were you saying, Mike? I was trying. I'm trying to think. Uh, I was looking for a video real fast, man. But also the. Uh, didn't he go to like Tommy Reynolds, like like his parole hearings and try to get him denied or something or write letters? <laughs> I think he threatened that. That's what he was did threatening. Did he do that do, or did yeah. he just say that? He probably didn't do that shit. I don't think he did it. Well, you never know, bro. You know, I I think it was just a fucking uh, uh an empty threat, just to try to stop people from whatever the fuck they were fucking with him with. But I don't know. Who knows? You know, you look. I will. I, I learn in life. I don't put nothing past anybody, bro. If you say something, I t I'm taking it serious. Because that's where your heart's at, obviously. So you never can't put nothing past. But I don't think he did. Well, who knows? But the crazy thing is that dude still lives in his neighborhood. Yeah, I don't think he's. Yeah. yeah, he probably just like posed it. I think like, so you know what? I think I'm gonna call <laughs> the probation and say I'm gonna on drugs. You know, he's probably like some, probably some shit like that. Like just fucking talking shit. I don't think he actually said like I got off the phone with the probation. I told him. I don't know. You know he did. I must have missed it. That was funny. Are you ready? Yeah, Mike. <laughs> Cheer. No, no, no. you got to put it next to your microphone. That's what I'm doing. I was trying to show it first. Great, ah. uh, great talker with you guys, OG, Mike, and Lewis. <laughs> when did I ever talk to him? You don't remember, man? Get we never talked to no, uh, oh, yeah, we did. With you guys, OG, Mike, and Lewis. <laughs> with you guys. It's <laughs> OG, guys. OG, Mike, and Lewis. Yeah, that's all, man. That's all I got, bro. That's it. I got to go eat some. I'm getting so hungry. That's what I'm playing. I got you know, we over, over, three, over three hours. Brett, I yeah. see, man, you've been doing 10 hour ones. Jeez. 10 hour live. What, what are you, crazy? <laughs> oh, that was shit. 10 no, hours. Was I see people oh. doing that shit, but it's not me. Oh, Definitely okay. not me. We did five Ten and hours. a half hours and four and a half last week. Maybe like three, three and a half. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's a good one. That's a good amount of time. No, that's and a lot. That's not... a lot. I've seen people on this mob tube space uh, doing 10 hour streams. I don't know how they do it. Oh, that's nuts, man. I don't see how you do it either. But... 11. I saw a 12 hour one recently. I swear to God, 12 hours. I'd be sitting there like Scott eating a turkey leg. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 12 hour. No, I'm, I'm watching. I mean, I don't something. know I'm how you have time. Saturday night's that. a movie night. Yeah. Well, man. I don't know. I don't know, so man. I'm going to go watch something then, I guess. Um, tomorrow, oh. Mike's History and Organized Crime, everyone will be on at 7 p.m. Eastern. Please subscribe up to uh, the channel if you haven't subscribed. And I had to check Facebook, and no one no put in uh, a number, though, no, on the uh, giveaway. So we're going to do the giveaway tomorrow and um, because it's more of, like, you know, uh, open, door, well, open doors at nighttime. We'll see what's going to go on. We might, want, we might change open door because of History and Organized Crime. But with that said, hey, wait, wait, hold on one second, one second, one second, one second. Do you mind if you read Joe Town Jock's, uh, Jack's comment? Is that really true? Can we get confirmation on that for real? Joe Town Jack's comment. Three, uh, three comments up. Yeah. Loomis, pull up OC shorts and look at Gravano wearing oh, the board. Yeah, that's true. That, uh, that's true. Yeah. Brett, did you hear me when I was like, he can't even wear a fucking softball fucking shirt that says fucking. Yeah, yeah, 19. so that's true, huh? That's crazy that he did that. Yeah, man. Yeah, so you got. You got to be you gotta be kidding me, though. You get into the psychology of that, you know? Who in their right <laughs> mind, though, like on his team, though, would even say, though, that that's smart? That's what I'm saying. Like, you would think you know his son I mean? would be like, yo, dad, that's a fucking terrible look, dad. Like, <laughs> yeah. that's fucking weird. Besides we ain't doing son, that though. shit. Besides his son, he has uh what do you call it? Well, uh, a whole team of people. Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, you got those two stupid, those two stupid him? broads, you know, two yeah. discrazy okay, broads. Sammy. Okay, yep. Sammy. It's got their voices down. Okay, but but Brett and Loomis, listen to this shit though. You can look at it like this. Could you imagine? Some dude wearing like a fucking night stalker or, 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 or a Dahmer shirt with you know how many people in their names they killed a t shirt. I mean, it's fucking that's it. fucking disgusting, bro. I've seen it. I don't see it on OC Shorts thing. I'm looking. Yeah, no, he did a video today. You did? Yeah, OC Shorts, yeah. Dropped one. Oh, a new I one. You, you did. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. No, OC Shorts. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like the one he did on what's his name? Uh the brutal Gambino crime family hitman Vincent uh Vinny Aspirins. Yeah, but you know what? I I lost a lot of respect for that guy, man. Uh from here on out. Right. Uh well, because what I seen with him and Sammy, I, I watched Sammy today completely blatantly lie to him. And that that dude James knows better. He knows that the dude's blowing smoke up his fucking ass, but he sits there and takes it with no Vaseline like everybody else instead of pressing him saying, Hey, yeah, hey what are you talking no, about? That's why that's why Ooh. we never will never be able to interview any of those guys because Yeah, that, no, no, you can't because yeah, because they're all sick of fence and fucking fanboys, bro. And instead of saying, Hey, no, 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 no. You're bullshitting, bro. That's a lie. Like it's a blatant lie. You just lied to me and to everybody that's watching so for him to sit there and put up with that it's like yo you just jumped on the bandwagon to what how long do you think that's gonna last james you think you're gonna have a show with this guy how long is it gonna take for you to finally say hey uh sammy you know what that's a fucking lie um i know the facts why why would you say something like that you know and then it's his team's gonna jump in and go fuck you james we don't want nothing to do with you no more you didn't james kiss the too. fucking ring and uh oc shorts oh okay see i don't know the dude's name okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like all knows. about like you can't like like if you notice, well, like Sammy them. posts the interview on his channel too. You know, I think 100%. we talked about that. Yeah, so nope. he can't even. You can, well, you can't. You not only that, Brett, but you can't. You can't. You can't push back on that guy. Anything he no, says. No, no they he tell you that him. even before the interview. Yeah. Nope. Like he was saying today, he listen. You know what he said today, right? I've heard this guy over the years say it too. He's been asked, and I think Bet David asked him too. Hey, did you ever know anything about the Kennedy assassinations or any of that shit? And, what you know about what, the Kennedy assassination? <laughs> There you go, man. <laughs> yeah, something really important right now, so I can't do it. It's too late, but maybe I'll try. So now. yeah, Brett. Brett's got by I'm far the best. Mike, I'm dead. But I'm, I'm not not I'm ready ready to roll, bro. Finish, Mark. If you, unless you got it, did you find it? If you didn't, don't worry about it. I gotta go eat. Pizza. I gotta go eat. Yeah, uh, man. We gotta go, bro. Hey, check it out. Let, before we go, I got a new place, man. That I'm gonna check out. It's called Gold Tooth Tony's. 
Detroit style pizza. I'm talking about it looks like some legit ass uh, Detroit style pizza. Okay, Mike. All right, Mike. Well, have you have a good night. <laughs> what, a, what an asshole. <laughs> Nah, bro. I'll tell you on the next one, Brett. I'll finish that story on the next one. <laughs> Y'all be cool, what? man. All right, fellas. All Thanks right. for being on. All right, man. Thanks, man. Big time, right, man. Guys. Both of you, man. For real. All right. Yeah, Mike. Uh, um, I got to go be more than what we're going to do. <laughs> great show. Yeah, no, great show. Um, uh, yeah, uh, you know, have fun with the pizza and, um, <laughs> uh, you're gonna trip on this place, bro. This is legit, man. Don't oh, don't yeah. give me no uh oh man. You're uh oh, you kidding you're me, dude? You're gonna be like you're, you're, you're gonna be apologizing. Why do you gotta do it? Show me some good freaking barbecue. I want to see you going. Do you even watch our like, videos? I, I I do. Yeah, no, I mean I want to get like go into places like where they're smoking stuff and all right, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm all about it, dude. If you enjoy the content, guys, you can donate to the channel though there. And uh, we appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Helps us keep this stream yard going. Hit the like button, please. Johnny Noodles, fuck him. OC Shorts is a clown. I love Marky. We'll never, ever, Mike, make money on this show. We're getting, we're getting demonetized. Over, no, man. not because of Marky, Thank but y'all. even me. You. Oh, that batter, man. No, I just have a blast doing this. Out. Rocking it out. That was a good show, really, man. Nice crowd. Everybody nice was crowd. Crazy. Good show. I can't Look, believe we lost dude, one guy. Mike, we lost a still, troll. There's still we lost 30, a, our troll. There's still 36 fucking eyeballs on the thing. I know, man. I know. It's crazy. I know, man. It is. I'm I, glad, man. I'm I'm very appreciative too, man. Thanks everybody for watching. Yeah, everyone, man. for real. Thank you for yeah. hanging with us. Though. I gotta check the Facebook stats and then the, the box giveaway will be tomorrow at um I'll announce it on Facebook, but make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed our episode on Center and Testa. Are they rehabilitated? Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we will see you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Kennedy assassin.